was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Hey man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. From the strangest corners of the internet, here to bring you opinions of the world from an altered perspective. Here are your hosts, the Drunken Peasants. Yes, here we are. Welcome back to the Drunken Peasants Podcast, episode 416. I'm here with Billy the Fridge, and we got John Frickin' Page. You got it, you got it. Yeah. And I, I would say, like to... Oh, yeah. I gotta say, holy shit, that's cool from the from this side of it all. <laughs> God it? damn. Yeah. I just wish everybody watching could be sitting in that fourth box right now. You could see what it's like to be on the inside. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. It's so empty down here. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Wizard of Lost Cause? Yes. Yeah, Son wizard. of a bitch! I'm wizard, calling you out! out on the hype. Calling you out, Lost Cause! <laughs> Motherfucker! God damn yeah. it. Yeah, we had to start about 15 minutes late. We At, at least you said you were going to be late. Wizard of yeah. Cause, man. I pictured that dude just like sleeping on the street. He somewhere. might be face down in a puddle yeah. of his own vomit. He could be. I was going to say, is he in Philadelphia or what? what's going on? I don't I, I don't <laughs> even know where he is, but I, I, I talked to him yesterday. He said he was going to be on. Haven't been able to contact him today, but he's in the thumbnail, whatever. We give him credit. Maybe he'll show up st stumbling drunk, pants down. Wizard, you done goofed. You should have been here. So, few quick announcements. I want to let everyone know this is the calendar of guests coming up, provided that they actually show up. Now I'm now I'm having uh, now I'm having my doubts. So, what do we have here? We have where is it? All right. So, on the on the ninth of February, we have logic and some black guy both of them logic and some black guy on the 12th nice. we have uh barbara for you to see uh 16th casey tron and then from noon on the 19th through the 20th we will have the uh the 24 hour show and we have a bunch of guests lined up for that action packed i'll be i'll be naming those soon pimp monk's gonna fucking greyhound in how much kratom is he gonna bring with him this time? I don't know. As much as he can pack in his little uh, prison have, pocket. Like I want to say, like an urn-sized case of kratom, like just for all the an shit. urn size. You yeah, can have a little Paul Bear. That came to mind. I'm like, you know what? If he's gonna, if he is like an affiliate with a kratom place or whatever the fuck, that's the best way you got to do it. Uh, the FDA says kratom can kill you now. I'm a, I'm a little worried <laughs> for. So a also for the rest of you, uh, we're going to be doing all the Patreon perks this month. I'll be sending out the dates for that very soon. I already have them picked. I just have to post them everywhere. We we started an all new Patreon perk lineup. We, I posted a video earlier where we explain each one of them. I'm not going to go through that now, but you can go to drunken pez or uh, you can go to patreoncom forward slash dp patreon.com forward slash dp go there check out all the perks and uh, we have a goal on there that last time i checked we're 98 percent near which is basically uh we're gonna have a drinking contest where people might die and that's about it Fuck. last man standing last yeah, yeah man well, standing. Do, you, do you remember last man standing matches this is last man standing drinking contest Shit. last man drinking it's gonna be a shoot fight of just alcohol that sounds yeah, that sounds fun. I'm worried. I haven't drank for like a month and a half. I probably got baby fucking liver now. <laughs> Ben's gonna kill uh, me. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. And and also uh people are saying, you know, like, oh, there's so many Patreons. Yeah. For DP, if you want to support DP, it's very important for the continuation of this show that our Patreon gets at least somewhere near where it used to be before the hiatus uh almost crippled it. We're, we're trying really hard to bring it back, and we've come up with some perks that we think you'll want. I have my own Patreon. I think Billy has his own, too. <laughs> yeah, somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So I have my own Patreon, and I'm going to be doing the Trap Ben stream uh, later this month. I'm going to do Trap Ben uh, on my private stream every month that I'm over 2,000, which oh, is for God, the foreseeable. That is, a, that is dedication. Yeah, yeah, and Billy's going to be there to try to not have sex with me. 
I'm not going to try to not to have sex with you, Ben. You know what else happened, though? Like, me and Billy got stuck in an elevator again today. Take two. Luckily, this it was only for like 20 minutes. Yeah. So we but. didn't stream it this time. You guys are fucking cursed with, with these fucking elevators. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, last week, we were standing waiting for that same elevator, and it was taking forever. And there was a guy standing behind us in line waiting to get on the elevator. And we're like... Hey, you know what? Uh, we got stuck on this elevator for over an hour. He was like, nope. He was like, fuck that. And he like, <laughs> just, turned around and left. He, he just left. And then like two cute girls got on the elevator with us and it wouldn't get stuck then. It only got stuck when it was me and Ben alone. Fate wants me and Ben to hump, I think. No. They, that's, that's the only reason to get stuck in an elevator is to hump, Ben. Fate wants us to hump. This is the only time I'm going to say this for all you retards in the chat room. If you want to know who someone on the screen is, there are links in the description that tell you. I know uh, you know how to read be because nice. I know you know how to read because you can type a, a question about who it is. <laughs> so there you go. There you go, guys. And also, uh, we have our, our donation goal thing on the bottom now. We have a goal. This is also imperative to keeping the show going. I do like uh, it, though. It's very, it's very seamless, I must say. Yeah, yeah. so we're going to keep Streamlabs open the whole time. And uh, at the end of the show, we'll take some time to actually like examine all the Streamlabs. But in the meantime, if you just want to send us something and have it pop up on the screen, that's how you can do it. So there you go. Uh, Wizard of Cause, come on, dude! <laughs> come on, Wizard. He's gonna of Cause. come back, and he's gonna be like, he's gonna have some fucking story for you. I know it. I don't know. I hope. I hope he's okay. Honestly, I mean, he's always yeah. shown up. Uh, yeah, before the so. amount of alcohol that he drinks. Like, <laughs> what if this was the Jesus. time that it, it drunk back? What was the cause of the demise of the Wizard of Cause? Dude, that's oh, fucked no. up to even think. But, but, but seriously, he's a no-show. He wasn't calling or anything, nothing. He could be yeah. in trouble. This could be Rescue Wizard of Kaz. We don't know. We have no or, idea. Or, bright side, he could be, a throwback here, he could be at an orgy from Applebee's. It's possible oh. that he could be there. Speaking of which, uh, Vadim is going to be on the 24-hour show. Oh, he shit, he is? Yeah, and he does Fuck want yeah. to talk about Applebee's. <laughs> I was so. going to say, does he have another story that's going to be based out of Applebee's? Like a fucking satanic ritual happened at Applebee's. We should get him to come on live from an Applebee's. Who's the fast in the bandana? Uh, I'll good. tell you who it is. Tell him. Jabba the fucking slut. Jabba the slut. Find a fold and fuck it, baby. Damn. We're going to squash the Applebee's thing. He still wants to talk about it. I don't care about it, but he wants to talk about it. So I guess we're going to talk it's, about that's, it. It's weird that it feels like it's like a, that he's like harbored this whole thing about the Applebee's thing after so long. Like it's, yeah, you usually just kind of like let that shit go. Unless this is like a highlight of his career. He wants to be the Applebee's guy. He wants to get like a free gift certificate. He might be able to work that out. <laughs> we're also going to have a. We're going to have uh, RPG Minx on for sure. Nice. There's a few other people I've been trying to... Oh, uh, I think Repsion said he could be here in the studio with us. Nice. He said that. Damn. So hopefully he does. Yeah. So that, I think we're going to... That gonna, sounds fun. I think that's enough of the shilling. Please like the stream. Please subscribe. Do all that shit. Check out uh, our Patreon. We really need it. Like, shit's, shit got tough, guys. <laughs> It's hard times. Yeah, it, it, it honestly is. So uh, we'll, we'll lead off with the first story of the day. Doritos has announced plans to release new tortilla chips, especially for the ladies. These female-friendly versions of popular chips will make less of a crunch noise when you eat them. Actually, I'll like that. They're going to be a little bit smaller in, in size, and the sim single-serve bag will be able to fit inside your purse. <laughs> Are you serious? They should be called yeah. Doritos, Absolutely not Doritos. Good. Yeah. Doritos. That Doritos. Is so that is, that is... Fuck. <laughs> so creative. Doritos, guys. So new wonder... to the global chief executive Pepsi. <laughs> oh, you know what? Uh, I was asking Billy this before the show started. I was like, "Does this uh, tip counter thing? Does it count just Streamlabs, or does it, or does it do super chats too?" It doesn't look like it does, but at the end of the stream, I'll just add it up, and we'll see if we reach our goal. I'll, be... I'll add the super chats into it. Who owns Doritos? Thinks that unlike purse. men, women do not like to crunch loudly. It's well, a fucking Dorito. Come on, man. <laughs> 
Well, like, the feminists need to ruin everything. All right, next we're gonna have Mountain Dew that shrinks your clitoris instead of your testicles. Mountain Dew pink lemonade. I think that's just an vision. urban legend. You think Mountain Dew doesn't shrink your testicles? I don't believe it does. I know a lot of people who have like trouble giving birth like to babies because the amount giving of Mountain Dew they drink. Birth? You know, like uh, creating. What's what? Do you, what? They have low sperm. Count? They make a sex. Yeah, low sperm count. But even women who like uh, drink Mountain Dew it interrupts the pregnancy as well. Like I, I don't know. I've heard this from multiple people. So is is Mountain Dew made from abortion drugs? Of I some think sort? so. It's to make the population oh. docile. They don't want us reproducing. That's some Alex Jones level shit. <laughs> but anyway, back to back to Doritos. If I crunch, I just don't like to listen to other people crunch. Yeah, that is true. All right. Well, see, that's that's a controlling bitch right I there. I know. Well, it's Dana Perino. I like to crunch, but I don't want to hear your fucking crunch. Okay. Call these call these cuck Doritos. <laughs> Cuck Ritos. I guess that's it. That's it. Yeah. yeah that's it. That's well, the end. Well, 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 thank you, Doritos, for thinking of women. God forbid they crunch. I mean, this was almost like a paid spot for Doritos and their new product. I don't see why women care about the crunching. Why? Why it's a gender specific thing? I was reading something on this the New York is, Post. This is the. Sorry, sorry, go ahead. Well, on the New York Post, it said that women are actually uh, more susceptible to pain through the crunch. Like the, the crunch, of the, the crunch, like actually, like uh, I don't know if it's a cringe situation, but something that happens when they crunch actually is painful to women. It might just be because women are so no fucking, fucking weak. I'm sorry. I don't know that if they can give no birth. Why all. can't they eat a Dorito? I've heard of toilets in Japan that play music to like cover up fart noises and shit for women. So they would have to play fucking black metal when I when I take a shit. <laughs> it would it would be bad. But yeah, women just think, I don't know, they're, 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 they're the timider sex, I suppose. Men are loud, they fart, they burp, they piss, they shit, they moan. Women get worked up over a queef, and that's like the sexiest <laughs> fart. A queef is a sexy it's fart? It's the sexiest fart. I don't care. You can say what you want about a ripping shart, but I think a queef is a little more... A ripping a, a queef is just a little more, like, pretty. It's pretty. Well, I, it has a prettier name. A queef. It's like queen... It sounds like it sounds like a a gaggle of butterflies, if you will. I guess <laughs> a gaggle, like just like a bunch of like just a <sighs> bunch of floating butterflies in the wind. It's a little larva Queen. down there. I I don't know. I I guess I have to try the Doritos first. I don't know if they have different flavors for women. Like if there's uh, time of the month Doritos that when you're on your period they just have a better flavor. I don't, I don't know. They're they're uh, they're cut with like mydol. They're cut with like <laughs> period medication. See that wouldn't be too bad if you had medicated Doritos. You could you could like maybe have if someone has herpes they could rub them on their dick. No, that wouldn't work. No, huh? They would just take medication for that. They wouldn't rub anything on their dick. I guess I'm always trying to find a new way to have an excuse to eat Doritos. Then I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna move on. Uh, here's Pierce Morgan interviewing Trump. I guess this is Trump's first interview as president outside of the U.S. We Here begin we tonight go. with President Trump's rare interview, his first international TV interview since taking office. This at the same time the president is battling new headlines over the Russia investigation. President Trump facing a critical week at the White House, his first State of the Union address on Tuesday, and he's selling his new immigration plan to critics in both parties. Como Freak said, wow, Dana Perino is hot as fuck. Yes, she is. Compare her to fucking Huckabee Sanders. Compare her to what we've got now. <laughs> I feel like if you compare anyone to Huckabee Sanders, it's, well, she, it's not really that like... She was I mean? George Bush's press secretary. She was way better to look at, more articulate. She had a nightmare of a president. She still could answer questions. Huckabee Sanders, just a failure. And tonight, new reports. President Trump has Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein in his crosshairs after he considered firing special counsel Robert Mueller last June. ABC's David Wright leads us off. This is how I know I have a bias against Trump. That said rare interview, but I read it as rape interview. I was like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can't, give, Billy. I can't give him a fair shake. President Trump's rape interview. I know. That's, that's just my eyes saw rape there. I was like, oh, I had to second take it. I was like, now I'm an asshole. Because I thought it was, so that, I was rape. Oh, was he still oh. the yeah. The former oh, yeah. winner of The Celebrity Apprentice and his old boss, now the president <laughs> of the United States. Let's go. Come on. Oh, you see him doing a hair touch-up? <laughs> He's trying to keep his, like, fucking toupee intact. He's petting the animal on his head. 
Someone in good the chat girl, said no Streamlabs link. Let me see. Fuck. I believe it is there. Oh, you know what? I don't know why it's not there, but I'm going to fix it right now. Uh, I don't know what the fuck happened. Trump defense stance on guns and women's rights. Yeah. Chris. British I, I want to know what his stance on women's rights is. All I really know is the the grabber by the pussy line. I, I don't think I've ever heard him talk about women. That directly. is his stance on women's <laughs> is rights. Is that it? <laughs> Shit. It's the, I, I figured that was just the like the headline with the exclamation point. On the Maybe this is a rape interview. His stance on guns is wom and women's rights is if they have a gun pointed at them, they have no rights. I don't know. I, I, I'm actually super interested in this. Don't lie. I, I just I don't know Trump anymore. I always expect the worst out of him. I'm, I'm trying to turn over a new leaf, but it's hard when I'm seeing fucking rape interview instead of rare interview. Like, well, why would they put rare there? Just because he's talking to Pierce Morgan, the guy that won the fucking Celebrity Apprentice. I mean, he is a journalist. He is. He was he was a BBC journalist for a long time, and then he came to the U.S. and had this failure of a talk show. It was it was took over Alex for Larry Jones King, right? That kind of like did him in. I think. Damn. That was like the highlight of that show, though. That it was, was like a the best. It was a highlight, yeah, but like, as a reporter, you gotta admit, like, he was fucking he could not fucking handle it. No. Nope. Didn't Pierce not Morgan get outed for, like, uh, touching women or something, too? Is that why he got demoted? Or, By the way, the Streamlabs link is back up now. Yes. Presses Trump on a range of issues, from his views of women who have protested Trump's presidency in record numbers. Are you a feminist? No, I wouldn't say I'm a feminist. I mean, if, I think that would be maybe going too far. I'm, I'm for women, I'm for men, I'm for everyone. To his refusal to endorse stronger gun control measures, even after the mass shooting in Las Vegas. I mean, there's been so many... <laughs> Mass There's been shootings. a lot of shootings lately. <laughs> yeah, so you can't be like, oh, well, after this last one, surely you must be uh, pro-gun control. It's like, uh, I mean, if he wasn't after the one before that, I don't think he would be after this one. They had didn't they say, the bullets so far, don't mind me, didn't they say they were, uh, like, there was so far about, like, 11, I think it was like 11 to 12 uh, school shootings so far in 2018? Am I right on that? I, there have been quite a few. There was even one yeah. uh, not too far away well, from That's here. because drunken peasants was on hiatus. People had nothing else to do. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn. Going in the opposite direction, you would have saved a lot of lives. So I get what you're saying, but I believe in the Second Amendment. Trump also takes credit for a booming economy. A lot it's not an all-or-nothing thing. I mean, y y you can still be pro-sensible gun control and still be for the Second Amendment. So they, they create this thing where you're either for it all or you're against it all. You know, I should be able to have anti-aircraft artillery in my backyard. And if you think otherwise, you're against the Second Amendment. When are they going to put like an amendment to keep drones, killer drone strikes and shit? Because people can have murderous drones. They can build them in their backyard, right? Billy, don't you impede upon my drone rights. I'm just I'm more scared of drones now than I don't am of guns. It, Billy. I'm just saying. Don't you, don't you do it. You have to actually point the gun at a certain range to hit somebody. You could just fly a drone in somebody's room and then like drop a an acid tablet on their face. <laughs> what? I've seen I've seen the, the technology. It's got an acid tablet, man. Drop it right in their mouth when they're sleeping, coming through their window. It's done. That acid attacks in the US will fucking skyrocket tenfold if that's the case. I hope I didn't give anybody any ideas. Global economy, do peers, that. is because of how well we're doing. You know, most people will admit that, but we are doing well. That's helping all around the globe. That's a good thing. The interview, downright chummy at times. Downright One chummy. One topic Morgan steers clear of is the ongoing Russia investigation. Today, the Washington Post reports Trump recently considered firing his deputy attorney general, the man who appointed the special counsel. This after reports confirmed by ABC News that Trump considered firing Bob Mueller, too. Some members of... So just fire anyone who's investigating him. That's a good tactic. I mean... <laughs> the president's party worry Trump may be flirting with an obstruction of justice charge. It's pretty clear to me that everybody in the White House knows it'd be the end of the President Trump's presidency if he fired Mr. Mueller. On Tuesday night, President Trump hits the reset button at his first State of the Union address. 
He's expected to make the case that the Trump all right, economy... So this was before that, apparently. Economy yeah. ...has been good for all Americans. But that inclusive message won't erase his inflammatory rhetoric on issues of race and immigration. Overnight, rapper Jay-Z called the president out... Who gives a, a fuck? Comment. I really don't care what Jay-Z has to Wait, say. Wait, did Jay-Z drop a diss track? <laughs> suggesting oh, shit. in harsh language that African immigrants are undesirable. It's disappointing and it's hurtful. It really is hurtful, more so like you're like looking down on a whole population. Today, Trump fired back on Twitter. Somebody, please. <laughs> you're looking down on a whole population. Well, I think Jay-Z has a point here. Like... Uh, he should have went after Logan Paul, though. That's that's a little more hot right now than Trump. But diss tracks are the new thing. So if he's got to put one on Trump, I, I would listen to it. I, I, I would probably not cringe either. He's informed like Jay I did at Eminem's diss. Because of my policies, oh my God. black unemployment has just been reported to be at the lowest rate ever recorded. And David joins us live from the White House. And David, I want to go back to the Russia investigation. There's news tonight of a push to release a classified memo written by a Republican congressman that suggests bias in the FBI and a fight brewing right now because the president wants that released. Tom, that's from today's Washington Post. It's a fight. So it's just when when the FBI investigates him, it's bias. It's not the fact that they're just investigating him because they believe he might be involved in some fucked up stuff. It's bias. You have a bias. The FBI is biased. They they think Trump's a, a Russian criminal puppet. That's not fair to our poor president. All he is 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 a is a rapist, and <laughs> and he eats his steaks. Allegedly. fucking he eats his steaks medium or no with, well with done ketchup. with ketchup. With ketchup. Yeah, that's the most disgusting thing he's done as president. <laughs> Seriously, I can't get over that. I'll get over the grabber by the pussy stuff because Stormy maybe, Daniels, that's cool. Like, maybe Stormy Daniels wanted to be grabbed by the pussy. I, you know, some women are into that. And I, I'm not here to kink shame women just because they're into fucking old ass wrinkly dudes. That would pit the president against his own Justice Department. And it has to do with a controversial secret memo written by a congressional ally of the president's detailing allegations of bias among FBI investigators. The Post says the president wants that released to the public so that people can judge for themselves, but his own Justice Department says that would be totally reckless to do that without a proper review. Tom? David Wright for us tonight. David, thank you. And a reminder, ABC News will have live coverage of President Trump's State of the Union address. Right. George Stephanopoulos. I, so I that gotta say about the, about the State of the Union, my favorite line for that entire thing was, the State of Our Union is very good. <laughs> yeah, very that good, very good. I watched a very small amount of it. I tuned in and there was like this guy who I guess said got run over by a train and he was in Korea or North Korea. And I was like, what does this have to do with our union? Are we going to war with North Korea? And then I got bored of the thought of going to war with North Korea because we're always talking about it. I turn it off. As I, I'm a terrible, I'm a terrible person because I was like, war with North Korea is boring to me at this point. So okay, so... So person who totally matters in the chat room said, who's this guest? He seems lame. Oh, no, it's I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm John freaking page, internet lame-o. Um, I uh, play video games on Twitch. Well, and, you uh, should just give up and do something <laughs> else because this totally important KMS, person who's drink opinion bleach. matters. Eat Tide Pods. you're lame. I thought he was talking about the guy in the fourth... Uh, Box, oh, yeah, some black box. Fucking, that guy's a loot. <laughs> no, some really? black box. Really? What? Man, he's our he's our guest tonight. Some black box. Dude, I mean, he like has, he hasn't talked enough. I'm just saying. That's because he feels shame by the horrible racist in the second. To, uh, Who's that? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> who are you? Who are you suggesting as racist? You. Whoa! Just because some black box talks too much doesn't mean you can blame it on <laughs> some me. Black box. Black so Box, Black Box talk too much this episode. While Billy's talking here. <laughs> yeah. If, if everybody at home is wondering what's going on right now, just take some more fucking Kratom, dude. You haven't had enough dude, Kratom. Open your mind. Every every episode, there's like 300 comments that are like, what's a Kratom? <laughs> okay, uh, Kratom is a class okay. C uh, uh, scheduled drugs. I, I'll admit I had to look it up at first when it oh, first so appeared. You, and I was like, that, what the fuck That is was this? my advice. That was my advice. If you have a question, 
Type it into Google. Don't type it into comments under a YouTube video and wait for yeah. someone to answer it. That is retarded. <laughs> that is autistic. Especially when, like, if you scroll up a little bit, like, someone's there talking about Kratom in the comments as well. Uh, Mangda Kratom means pimp grade. It's very good. It's the red Kratom. You take the All red right. Kratom or the blue Kratom. So uh, today, uh, the stock market had uh, it's in the middle of a two-day slump the the worst two-day slump since 2016 the dow jones industrial average dropped significantly in his address president Jeez. trump mentioned the stock market surge during his first year in office but wall street is opening this morning right in its worst two-day slump since mid 2016 rebecca jarvis is here and Rebecca, good morning to you. And what is behind it? It's interesting because he'll take credit for the stock market going up, but when it goes down, it'll be somebody, some other reason. Obama. He Honestly, wa I, he washes his hands of it like, nope, not dealing with this. I don't think the president really has a lot of control over the stock market, just to be honest with you. Good morning, Michael. Yeah, so Amazon teaming up with JP Morgan and Berkshire Hathaway had a major impact, especially on healthcare companies and on insurance providers, because these companies, Amazon leading the way, are teaming up to create their own independent healthcare company. And Michael, whenever Amazon introduces itself getting into a new category, there's a lot of fear in the market of what that could do to the pre-existing companies. We saw it in the book space when Amazon got in there and crushed the competition. Mm -hmm. There's always going to be that fear. They'll do it again. I'm afraid they're going to come in and just take it over. But what's the big picture impact of this drop last two days? So you, you look at these last 24 hours, it's a drop in the bucket compared to what's happened over the last year. The Dow up 31% over over the last year worldwide stock markets have surged over the last year and if you look at that typical 401k over the last year michael it is up almost twenty five thousand dollars well pretty good good yes, money for anybody who has money in the market then that help so even though there was a sharp drop overall in the last uh 365 days there's been a huge gain yeah it's just the the, the drop is larger than it's been in two years but the gain over the last year has been so high that the right. market's still very good and it's it's gonna hit a drop because of how crazy it kept going upward it dropped dips a little bit and then it will go back up it, it, we're still doing really well and you can blame that on the president because donald trump lifted a ton of regulations that made it really hard for companies to work like the, the, the having to recycle and shit having to watch the air pollution they make trump lifted all that shit you know we don't have to worry about the fucking pipelines anymore just spill oil wherever you want it, it doesn't matter make your fucking money ruin the ruin the, the planet i was gonna say ruin the country but <laughs> trump is the cleaner in this situation he's gonna fix yeah, this. he doesn't really. give a shit about that let it let it all die make your money and that's why the stocks are gonna fucking shoot up because they they have all these limits taken off them that the administration has been putting on for years prior mm -hmm. and and bitcoin dropped too so you know the the, the it's all dropping you think bitcoin would go up when the when the markets drop because the market right? really hasn't dropped that much the market is still going up and bitcoin will probably go up it's it, what's happening with bitcoin is that the the market is trying to attack it they're trying to uh delegitimize what bitcoin is so we're at a war right now a currency war hmm. but there's another big headline we're watching apple Yes. Under investigation, slowing down the iPhone. Yes. So so we, we spoke to Tim Cook about this a few weeks ago when I spoke with him. The company has been facing backlash over this question of slowing down their phones in order to help with battery issues. Now the DOJ and the SEC are reportedly looking into it. When I spoke with Tim Cook, he apologized of course you're and gonna reiterated get fucking that. Issue. Are you going to get backlash for slowing down iPhones? Like, but it helps like the battery. Helps the battery last longer. Your battery's going to last forty yeah, percent longer because it performs. <laughs> and it's going to it's going to take fifty percent longer bought, to load that web page. If I switch, I bought this smartphone because I want it to go fast. Now, granted, this is a Samsung. It's not an iPhone. But if it's if I want it to go fast, it better go fucking fast. Well, yeah. If if I'm allowed to walk rather than run, of course my my energy is going to last longer. <laughs> so what the fuck ever. That apology from the company. I'll tell you what, I, I wasn't even going to do this, but tonight, if we hit our goal, if we hit our goal of 500 combined donations, I will take my pants and my shirt off and do the Holy remainder of the show in my underwear. Shit. Naked? In my underwear. Underwear Bempire. Yeah. Woo! 
And then Billy's boner will fill up the rest of the room. Yeah, I'll fill up the rest It'll of his be underwears. It's going to be like, like the elevator all over again. He's going to have was to that, not to help you. <laughs> was that an anime reference? Yeah. Ooh. Eroskidoji, <laughs> Legend of the Overfiend. Ooh. It, it may beats. not even happen. It's probably not even going to happen. That's why I'm comfortable saying that, you know? Right, thank you, Rebecca. Appreciate it. People are saying no. Okay, we'll leave then, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. George Stephan. All right. Let's see. Trump insists release GOP memo, memo vindicates him from Russia investigation. I thought you were we going right out of the heated Russia controversy there. over that memo from the House Intelligence Committee. Republican members casting doubt on the FBI surveillance. President Trump claiming it is a total vindication, calling the FBI's behavior disgraceful. The president's family and its strong, stronger supporters backing up that claim. But tonight, not all the Republicans agree, including one of the congressmen who helped write the memo. Here's ABC's David Wright. The president insists the newly released GOP memo totally vindicates Trump in the Russia probe. But many Republicans on the House Intelligence Committee don't agree. I don't. I don't agree with some of my colleagues. I actually don't think it has any impact on the Russia probe, and I was pretty integrally involved in the drafting of it. It would be a mistake for anyone to suggest that the special counsel shouldn't complete his work. Republicans hmm. now defend the release of that memo by saying it exposed a problem with the FISA warrant process, the safeguards designed to protect American citizens from government eavesdropping. I mean, there is a little bit of sweet revenge in it for me and certainly probably the family in the sense that if they wouldn't have done this, this stuff would be going on. From the president. Man, I... I can't remember a president recently that has one of his kids, you know, kind of trying to spin shit for him on the news. He does have a, they I will say he's a punchable face, though. Yes, he does. <laughs> he has probably one of the most punchable faces I've seen in a long time. He looks a lot like his dad did, you know, 30 years ago. Weaponized yeah. the FBI Only better and hair. the DOJ to attack the duly elected president of the United States. The California Congress. AKA oh, my God. father, my daddy, leave my daddy alone. And who wrote uh, the but, GOP uh, memo? Uh, but I think the American people understand that the FBI should not go to secret courts using information that was paid for by the Democrats to open up investigations and get warrants on people of the other political party. That's the type of stuff that happens in banana republics. But just three weeks ago, I love that these story. same <laughs> lawmakers all voted to reauthorize the FISA program, rejecting a bipartisan package of new privacy safeguards. Congress passed the bill overwhelmingly, and the president signed it. Democrats say President Trump cannot use this issue as a pretext to fire the deputy attorney general or the special counsel. This would be an extreme event, and one that I say with some caution could create a constitutional crisis in this country. No one, including the president, is above the law. David Wright is in Florida with the president. I mean, I, I think he's suggested that he is and that he'll just pardon himself. Can he, he do that? A, no one has ever tried, I mean, so pe people are like, can he? Can't he? <laughs> I feel like it would either be like, he, he resigns or something like that, and then when... Uh, Pence sticks over, he would have Pence pardon him. Oh, that oh, was how it was gonna go. oh, he was suggesting that he would pardon himself. Oh, no, I know, I know. He would definitely, tr he would want to do that, but like, let's be realistic. He would, that would probably be the case where he has fucking Pence do it. I don't think realistic is an issue when it comes to Trump. Like, he's pulling you know rabbits yeah, out of hats. He, right. <laughs> he, by his very existence, is unrealistic. Yeah, he's the only president that has no military or political experience before getting voted in. Like he's he's been breaking down expectations and realism this entire time. He broke the glass ceiling. <laughs> he stuck his fucking oh fingers fuck. in it. <laughs> Grabbed it like a pussy. David, President Trump heads back to Washington and is now facing the challenge of a government shutdown just weeks after the last one. That's right, Tom. The uh, stopgap funding measure that ended the last shutdown uh, keeps the government afloat just until February 8th. That's this Thursday. If the two parties are unable to come up oh, with a damn. compromise, we could be facing another government shutdown. Tom? David Wright for us. It's funny because they talk about the government shutdown. They... It, there's been so many government shutdowns that have happened within the last few years. It's like, 
I don't notice a fucking difference. I know I, if the government shuts down long enough, it's a problem. And if the government shuts down, like the the, the Senate, the Congress, they still get paid. Like <laughs> their shit doesn't stop. I was just looking at what kind of underwear I'm wearing. Just oh, like, make sure you don't yeah, got them shit. No, no shit, check for shit stains. I'll, I'll let the audience check for shit stains <laughs> if they reach the goal. Oh, if how many are we at right goal. now? By the way. Well, let, let's take a look at the total because the, the meter down below doesn't accurately reflect uh, okay. everything. The Peter meter, if you want so, to see Benpai's banana <laughs> hammock. Peter meter. I'm not wearing a banana hammock. Uh, you leave that up to the audience to determine. I can see Dick a little uh, banana republic down in the front there. <laughs> so we're at uh, $106. So I don't want to keep interrupting the stream for this, but I just want to put it out there again. I will be uh, almost completely naked if we reach the $500 goal. Uh, and, oh, another thing I wanted to bring up here. If you do decide uh, to become a patron during this stream, it should uh, do something like this for you guys. Just so you know. And after this, we're going to go ahead and go to Twitch. When we're done with this stream, we're going to Twitch and we're going to stream there. We're going to stream the post show on Twitch. The new home of the post show is on Twitch. We're giving it to the people for free. Nice. Back to the people. Very nice. All right. Here's uh, Weed Wars. <laughs> California County fights illegal marijuana. This is from the BBC. Weed Wars sounds like a really cool movie, by the way. Fuck. I believe this is probably a part of a Asian cartel. <laughs> Holy shit! It's almost like That's a lot of weed. West, you know, no, Mr. Fucking Naughty Priest, dude. Did he do Mr. it? Naughty Priest came he through. He, he's, already, he's already closed the gap. Oh, shit. You the real MVP, oh, Mr. Naughty Priest. <laughs> oh, fuck. Dun, wait, wait, wait. dun, pause dun. Pause it, pause it. Pause it. Pause it. The, the, Bam, bam, can, we get some, like, can we get some sultry music going on here? Yeah, I did. Okay, so uh, just a little spoiler alert, guys. Ben does not have tidy whities on. He's got some boxers. Yeah, make sure, <laughs> look, make sure the hedgehog doesn't peek out and see his fucking shadow, dude. Oh, no. Ben's got a little bit of a uh, chest hair situation going. The tats are right. Hey, Jesus look at that man. Like right look at that body. We should get the what fourth fucking, camera pointed down into your lap. Fuck. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> is it awkward that I'm getting a bit of a, a, a chubber? <laughs> At least we're not in an Answer elevator us. right now. <laughs> All right, so so now what do you do if if the rest of the meter fills up? Oh, if we get all the the stream labs so, through. So how about how about if we get the rest of it filled up, then uh, <laughs> then I get to beat your ass with my belt. All right, if uh, if if the stream labs link below gets all the way up. Ben, in my, his underwear, will spank me like a fucking bad donkey. What the fuck has this show wow. become? I'll tell you what this has become. This is this is dire time. I know it is. We're fucking hurting, it really man. Is. That's the only reason we're I'm doing fucking this. hurting. I'd like That's to say, as like I, I said this before, every day when I go into work, I have this on in the background, like when I fucking listen to this shit. This is gonna be the weirdest one for me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I was there. Are you yeah. gonna get HR department to come by and be like, um, you you're gonna have to put this fat boy getting smacked around by the naked it's boy okay. uh, I'm, I'm off on the it. computer? It's okay, you can. I just I'm playing it back just to make sure it's fine. <laughs> oh damn, I smell so good too, man. Oh, is that is that cherry pie? Shh. Why do you smell like cherry pie, Benjamin? <laughs> you smell cherry pie. You know what? I, I didn't let the hernia show, but I, I like pointed to where it was. I can't really see any no, no, hernia down it's, there. It's inside. Oh, it's an inner hernia? It's like inside oh, of my navel. So if I like arch my back, you can see it. It's almost like my, my belly button like winks at you. Bing, bing. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Little blinking what do you mean, wink. Ew, you love it. You love when it, was, John okay, freaking Page. When I was Page. like a kid, I had a fucking hernia like that I had to get like sewn up and shit. I needed two, I've but never I never heard of that. 
I have a hernia too, and it needs to be operated on. It's very small, but it's Whoa. still uncomfortable. But I don't fucking have health insurance right now because shit is fucked. And that's why I'm getting almost naked on YouTube. On right the 24 now. hour show, you should let Pimp Monk try and eat the hernia out of your belly. Sprinkle some kratom on it. I don't want to. What if he eats it? I'll he, die. He what can like fuck? suck it out, right? Through the belly button? Isn't that how it I works? I just think of this like fucking from beyond when the fucking dude's trying to suck the girl's brain out of her like fucking face. Going for your pineal gland. Someone said, someone said, oh, uh, Ben, Ben's a cam girl now. He learned from Ryby. Fuck, I taught Ryby everything she knows. For real. <laughs> Ryby wouldn't want in this situation. Ryby wouldn't have ever been doing fucking small giant porn if it wasn't for Ben. Small giant. <laughs> small giant. She's like, I'm a giant. I'm a giant. <laughs> oh, did Billy make a Shadow the Hedgehog pun out of Ben's pingus? Uh, you know what I did? <laughs> Because, like, these boxers, they don't have the button, uh, oh, you shit. know. So, like, I had to kind of twist them a little bit yeah, to keep my Peter from popping out. Had, my Peter was out when I first took my jeans out. I, I know. Did you see it? I've seen your dick. I've seen so many dicks recently. I, I, I saw I saw a famous YouTuber's dick uh, recently. Who was that? I'm not going to say because it's private, man. But let's just let's just put it it's this on, isn't it? If you could, I don't if you know, could man. A name. Who would you? What would the name rhyme with? Ezion. <laughs> uh, I, I could say that it, it's the name rhymes with uh, Goo Boober. It's a famous Goo Boober. <laughs> A famous goo boober YouTuber, Glanderson Booper, Glanderson Booper. Yep, five dollars oh, for spring. Everyone's prank. saying it's Leafy. I saw Leafy's dick, so maybe it is. Yeah, man, you're just. You I've seen so like many dicks, dude. Wait, wait, you you saw you saw his dick, but you didn't. Did you did you see his chin as well? Was that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, 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 he has a chin. Everybody who says Leafy has no chin, uh, they're just talking shit. The boy's got a bit of a Everyone chin. wants the spanking. I heard dude, spanker. Dude, we're gonna need yes. dude. Oh fuck. I don't I, I don't want to go too hard on you. Dude, uh I don't think you can go too hard on me, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm gonna this take my I'm gonna take shoot. my flannel shirt and like tie it around my waist when I do it so that no dickage pops out. So you I'm, look like dude, it's gonna be the mosh crazy. pit trap bin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to look like one of the headbangers. You remember them? <laughs> I feel yeah. like this is going to be something like a deleted scene out of like Pulp it, Fiction or some no shit. No fucking way. I'm going to make sure that it stays. Oh, God. We'll probably just keep that lovely little, uh, you know, yellow dollar sign because yeah. of it. <laughs> uh, oh, another reminder, everyone. Uh, one of our new Patreon perks is that me and Billy are doing this new video series that only uh i think it's 50 dollar patrons are going to get to see and part of that is we're going to go ahead and uh catalog our trip to portland for the dick masterson meetup that's coming up later this month so oh, nice people we're are saying what is this show yeah it has it, it it's <laughs> it's gotten fucked it, you know what desperation does some fucked up things i'll tell you i picked, I'll tell I you picked what. the right one to guest on i got it you say. did and wizard of cause picked the right one to not guest on yeah. wizard of cause you fucked up <laughs> you fucked you up. Fucked up hard. You could you could have some of this. <laughs> you could have some of the fucking. Could have had it all. Benjamin nips. I feel bad for you guys. I I just gonna look over and see these fucking nipples. You yeah. guys you guys kind of have to Sorry. catch Ben on a on an um, upskirt. Tips for Ben Turner. Ben, tips any, for Hearns? Do you, I was gonna say, do you have any pasties over there? Make no. it that much more okay. <laughs> I was gonna say to make it that much more awkward when he looks back to see a fucking pasty. Yeah, I wish I could I wish I had like the Elvira ones I could like spin around. <laughs> Some tassels. Yeah. All right. Oh god. I guess we'll get I guess we'll we'll pretend like everything's totally normal now and I'll just uh we'll get back into this political shit. We we actually did have people be like, Hey, we get all of our news from DP, so if you don't report the news, we don't even know what's going on. I I, I will admit I get most of my news from DP, so <laughs> I'll admit right. that wholeheartedly. Are Democrats having a, f a problem finding the next Obama? This is a, a Fox News story. Uh oh. Several filings show the DNC is dead broke when you subtract the debt. And what do you mean the next Obama? You mean like the uh, Kenyan the born. Of Obama, or? No, 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 no. The Kenyan born Muslim leader who somehow usurped 
our election process and became president even though he shouldn't have because that's what they would meet because that's what they called them on fox news back in the day and the cash on hand well guess uh, what the committee has less than a half a million dollars laying around the ooh, rnc crumbs, however <laughs> apparently the rnc however is flush with about 40 million dollars in cash <laughs> the dismal cash flow could be part of the bigger problem is democrats appear to be struggling to find their next Obama, shall we say. Mm. Patty Silas Doyle, <laughs> who managed Hillary Clinton's 2008 White House run, tells The Hill, quote, there's a definite yearning for who's my next great love. And oh. the problem is we're really not loving anyone. <laughs> you know, see, so. originally uh, in America to vote on a presidential race, you had to be white and you had to own land. And then shortly after they made it where you just had to be white. Well, yeah, a white man, excuse me, a white man that yeah. owns land. And then they just said you had to be a white man. And then they said, you know, you had to be a man. And then they said you could be a woman. And they just kept adding in how many people could vote. Ever since they made this super PAC thing, they basically reversed it back to to vote, to have your vote matter, to have your money matter, is you have to be a white person that owns much land. I mean, also for your vote to matter, you have to live in a state w that's not going to go completely one direction. Yeah, mm. well, but, but like right here, they're saying that the the GOP has f how much? What this forty million dollars surplus or whatever? All that money is there because they're getting donations from the fucking super rich guys. Sure, super rich. This is the equivalent I mean, of white men that own land. The, their the, money the, is more than their vote. Right. The the, the, the Koch brothers? Yeah, yeah, the, the Koch, Koch brothers. brothers. I thought it was Koch. Never mind. Koch brothers. But, yeah. but I mean, there are also super rich liberals. I mean, there's there are super Bill rich Gates, liberals. Warren Buffett. But they're not they're not donating so much to the Democratic Party compared to the the, the, the people who they are donate quite a bit. A they donate quite donate. a bit. Uh, Bill Gates is uh, Bill Gates donates a decent amount of money. The, the Democratic yeah. Party gets more from their base than they do from like super PAC donors, though. Like the, the they rely on the base. The, the Republicans don't rely on the base. They rely mm -hmm. on the fucking rich ass multi billionaire bloodsucker fucking white men that own land. This uh, this whole thing has just convinced me. I just need to start streaming on Chatterbait. <laughs> I, I, that's Get a that's a Patreon exclusive if I've ever heard one. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, hey, you're gonna you're gonna someone. slam clam. We're not oh expecting. You know, God. It's, there's it's, a lot of pregnancy in there. <laughs> what I will tell you though, <laughs> <a lot> of, <laughs> this this I holy shit, a woman on Fox News is wearing pants. This is the first time I've ever seen this. This, this may not be the first time ever, but I've never seen a woman on Fox News wear pants before. This is progressive. It just looks it more like, like one of Hillary's suits that she fucking wears, like the fucking one piece suits, or whatever you'd fucking call it. Yeah, it's like a pantsuit. But before this, I've never seen a woman without mm. a dress or a skirt on Fox News ever. It, it must be because they're talking about the Democratic Party. They want to have people dress the part, so they put black women on the couch, they put woman in glasses on the couch, and they put woman in pants on the couch. Woman in glasses is Kennedy from MTV. Back That's in Kennedy. The yes. What really? a trash it is. it is. What is she doing? She's a conservative now. This, this, That's I weird. think. Curious to get your take, Ed. Shows they they have nothing that's empowering them right now. Their only mantra is to resist, right? And it, Donald Trump is awful. We must get him out. We must get the Republicans out because they're going to destroy the country and everybody. I mean, that happens. He is awful. He is awful. <laughs> he's. I think he's the worst president in my lifetime. But I would, this happens. I would argue that, yeah. This happens every time, though. No matter who the president is, the other party's like, oh, they're going to destroy America. We need to get rid of them. So yeah. they look for any way that they possibly can to get rid of them as president. You know, they, they've they done it to pretty much everybody. Uh, I can't remember them doing it to Reagan or the first Bush. I will uh, say um, my rubric for a worst, like the worst president so far now has been any president that makes me miss George W. Bush that's a worse president. It's true. It's true. I, I at least uh, thought Bush had this weird charm about yeah, I miss, him. <laughs> I, miss, I miss people need to start putting food on their families again. That's, well, I think that's what I miss. People need to start putting food on their families. Bush, he had the illusion that, you know, he was 
doing great things because we had the 9-11, the war. Like he, he was had, doing great things he had these. He had 9-11. Well, I'm saying he had all these things to work for, right? Like, he, <laughs> he, he, I'm sending our boys to Iraq. I'm sending our boys to Afghanistan. I'm, I'm, the, the war is over. You know, he, he, he looked like he was at least busy, right? I don't know what the fuck Trump does all day. I mean, he plans Bush his trips did, to fucking Mar-a-Lago. That's what he d fucking does. Bush did worse shit in the sense that you know, like so far, all the wars that Bush had his hand in, all that shit, uh, way worse than anything Trump has done so far. But Trump, just for from public persona, he's just garbage. You know, that that's the problem with Trump, and he's he's even more inarticulate uh, than than uh, Bush. Which is crazy to think but about. Bush is like mm -hmm. Southern inarticulate and Trump almost is almost like, charming. Yeah. It was almost charming when he would say, you know, you, you fool me once, so sh you, 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 shame on me, fool me twice. You, you, we you, won't you, get fooled again. Yeah. It's like, that, that, was, that was cute though. Yeah. Trump's just like, nope, good. you're wrong. I'm the best. Nope. You're a whore. Fuck feminism. Wrong. He's looking Wrong. and saying, wow, gee, you know, my 401k is doing better. Mm. I'm getting a bonus from work. So that argument's not sticking. And I think that this is why they can't raise money, because they don't have anything that people or candidate that people are excited about. And they've wasted about. a lot of time, instead of creating a Democratic agenda, just time spent on anti-Trump. Resist, right. resist, yeah. resist. Republicans had some of those problems in the Obama years as well. Yeah. It was not until... Um, then candidate Donald Trump came up and said, we got to get serious on trade and the wall and jobs, 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 and actually came and sold it to the middle class well, and he won. Question on that. How much in actuality of, of what he's saying about uh, Trump, how much was actually done so far? Well, they, they have an idea for the wall, right? They, they've, <laughs> Only thing they, that really I can think of so far is like the fucking TPP shit with that. That was taken care of. But like aside from that, nothing... There's really stuff in the works, you though. said pee pee. <laughs> but, but, like, I could see why Trump won, though. Everybody was behind Bernie, and when they pulled mm -hmm. the rug out of Bernie, Hillary couldn't replace that. <laughs> they pulled the rug out of Bernie. They pulled the rug out from under Burn, burn Man. <laughs> burning Man. I picture them literally <laughs> pulling it out of him. Pulling it out of rug inside of his <laughs> Shit. But no, Bern, Bernie Sanders had a whole bunch of Americans behind him, and they were donating money to that campaign, and that yeah. all but disappeared because the Democrats were like, no, we're sticking with Hillary. And Hillary couldn't get the job done, and now we don't know where the fuck to go as a Democratic Party. Trump might as well declare victory in two years because yeah, we let's haven't built up a replacement. If we throw Hillary back in the ring, we're, we're fucking fucked. stupid. Yeah. It's gonna if they do it again, then we're just literally fucked. Oh, sorry, I just read the donation. Right. Yeah, yeah, oh, man. yeah. A lot of people were surprised that, like, people who were familiar with you were surprised that you were being on our show. Yeah, they, I've been they, to clarify. I've been a fan of DP for a long fucking time, and again, I was gonna say this at the end, but I guess I said it, it's fucking surreal to even be on the show. Damn. Yeah, it's surreal for me right now too. Ben usually wears clothes when I'm in the studio. <laughs> I, you know what? I'm I'm just doing what I promised I would do. You know, he works hard for his money. He works hard for his All money. All we need to do is work install corner, a pole. Work it. I will. I will. Oh my god, a stripper pole! <laughs> wait, you wait, think I would get, tear the fucking roof the down? At the 24-hour stream, can we, like, get a, a full cam setup of, like, the flash dance scene where he pulls the water down and it just kind of, like, <laughs> fucking lands <laughs> on him? Damn. I think I have a He's video a of me getting hosed off yep. doing that. <laughs> let's get it. Ha let's make it happen. Fuck. Okay. And so I think moving forward, if this president can get through the Mueller investigation, mm -hmm. builds momentum out of the tax cut, which, as you say, the economy is taking off by every single measure and can get an immigration deal. Mm -hmm. I think the point made earlier, this is what Democrats are really worried about. If he takes DACA off the table and gets at least some, if not all of the wall, he's checking off promise. Mm -hmm. okay. Hold on. Okay. But then, what? Then, okay. But then going some, if not all of the wall. Okay. I, I mean, like... I, don't you want the whole wall? No, the plan was never for a whole wall anyway. Ah, uh, he made it seem like he, it was But it was never that. actually for a whole wall. They don't want a whole wall. That, that is never going to get passed. They want little intermittent walls 
he because also that's going to do Mexico something. To pay for it. Remember that? Yeah. Part? yeah, that's not happening. What they need is like some sort of cryptocurrency, like Wallcoin, and all the fucking uh, <laughs> Republicans can open up their web browsers, and turn off Pornhub for a minute, and let their computer processor fund some Wallcoin. Wallcoin, wall wall fucking wall coin, and you built part of the wall. Just go to whitehousegovernor slash Trump's wall, and it will mine Wallcoin automatically for you. Okay. Back to Democrats, so like somehow the they have to fend that strong message off. How do they do it? I mean, is is Mr. Kennedy the guy? I Mr. don't think so. Kennedy. I mean, one speech is not going <laughs> to. This is this is a little bit uh, this is a little tacky on my part. I feel like. With that one lady before in the red dress, like she had like one eye just caked in fucking eyeliner, yeah. and the other one was just like shut halfway closed, like she's got a bad <laughs> case of the pink eye. <laughs> she probably just got a fucking load blown Stay in her face eye. by Sean Hannity right before they went on air. <laughs> yeah, and they put the rest in his hair. <laughs> like Sean Hannity about has Mary that style. It's just like one little quaff. He has that jizz gel look to his hair. <laughs> oh my god! Bitch. Build it. He had kind of a. It's impossible. That's not true. Look at Barack Obama. Well, that was a speech at the convention. Yeah, yeah absolutely right. Still a big audience. This is a rapt audience. He had a shot, I and I think he kind of blew it. He, I point, think he kind of blew it. Kennedy had a Barack Obama yes. moment. Kennedy I guess. might I mean, be you're... able to be like a front runner if he's ever given the shot. I don't know. I feel like it could happen. Like everything I've seen about him so far, maybe, but I don't know. Who are we talking about? Uh, the uh, young Kennedy. The the young. Oh, there's the, there's a they're young still Kennedy. Around. Yeah, there's they're they're still around. I missed that. I, uh, there's going to be a Ted wrong. Kennedy movie coming out showing how Ted Kennedy like killed the woman in his car. This is bad timing for a young Kennedy to be running when they have it's this damn fault. Yeah, but it's like the Kennedy name has so much darkness behind it. There's I would a, actually stay curse. away from politics if I was a Kennedy. They're cursed. I think we're both right. Well, You're right that you can do it with one speech, yep. but I don't think Joe Kennedy did it. I don't think he did it either. And and to your point, Democrats, if if they, they, right now they have to pin the tail on the donkey, the economic tail, and they <laughs> the have Democratic to, donkey. Yeah, they go back to playing uh, Nirvana videos or something. Yeah, Kennedy. they have to uh, they have to take some of the success from so uh, the weird. the economic optimism and some of the metrics yeah. that that you were talking about and say this is good instead of trying to call an apple a banana they need to say like <laughs> economic growth is great and here's how we're going to compound that for you they are not doing that they're they not talking a, basic they ideas. you know we have a somewhere in here we have a glass dildo that sh that's shaped like a little a glass banana banana, banana. Oh, oh no and it came in like this little pouch that's not going to be any sort of patreon why perk. why can't can't that be a perk? I'm not banana stuffing. Oh, come on. I don't, I'm, dude, my butthole's tight. That's what like episode run... five. Listen, that's like 500 material. Let's <laughs> be fucking honest. What if we run it through the dishwasher and then you just give it a good sucking? Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> no. It'd be sanitary. He was doing just that, Kennedy. He was doing these sort of intellectual gymnastics of, yeah, it's not that bad, but it could be better. That's hard to do coupled with people opening their paychecks, yeah, which it, I think is bigger than looking at the Dow or anything else. When you actually open something up and you say, oh, mm -hmm. yeah, sure. I mean, don't forget as well that you know they are fighting a Marie Antoinette problem right now that they Ooh, have. Lord, with Nancy look what happened! Are you talking a Marie Antoinette problem? Someone's the trying fuck? to behead them. I, I mean, <laughs> like what? They're fighting a Marie Antoinette problem. Nancy Pelosi told the, the all the Democrats to to eat cake. Let yeah. them eat cake. I say, let them eat cake. Let, let them eat it. pussy. That's the lesbian agenda, dude. We're in trouble now. Etc. So I don't know is your answer is a Kennedy. I don't know is that's going to do it for your average American right now that feels as though your the Democrats is always don't. Kennedy at 8 p.m. Eastern on the Fox Business <laughs> Network. Yeah, well, not Kennedy just Schill. Kennedy. Every, oh, Kennedy. Kennedy. Every Democrat voted no on the tax cut. Remember that. Yeah, that's right. They're not going to be able to live that down. What? Oh, oh fuck the, off. Every Democrat voted no on the tax cut. Uh, the, uh, many Republicans also did, but no, no, it's the Democrats here. We're going to point out, with, not uh, our own. With, a, with common sense, voted no on the tax cut. <laughs> All right. So, uh, just to remind everyone, uh, we're going to get back to the video soon. Uh, we revamped our Patreon. Check it out. There's a lot of cool perks, exclusive videos, other shit that we'll be coming up with.
Ben's naked and drunk. And for some reason, ever since you got naked, the heat in this room rose by like 20 it's you, degrees. It's you. I, I, I'm hot and bothered. I don't know. You look like you got a bit of a sweat gleam to Listen, you right now. Someone in that someone in that studio is a furnace right now. That's all you got to say. There's and, water glistening down your body. And, and I am going to beat the fuck out of Billy with a leather belt if we can get this meter at the bottom all the way across. The Peter It's not meter. that far. Fuck. It's almost halfway. Almost. Someone said degenerate. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Da na 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 na. Break it down. Think you can tell us what to do? You think you could tell us what to wear? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> you can you can tell me what to wear apparently, or what not to wear. Um, and then I'm gonna dress like a woman in a few weeks too. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be pretty. Life. Should I get? I, mean, well, I actually meant to ask you about that, Ben. Um. So, how does it feel knowing you're going to be going back to it? Like, fucking. You got to get. Did you pick out your outfit for it? For trap. Uh, I haven't gone shopping yet. I also have to uh, go to Sephora and uh, get you myself. Pick out your you know, colors. Some makeups. Yeah. You're gonna go to Sephora, get the good shit. Of course. <laughs> I, I can only go high quality. True. I'm, uh, I'm gonna make a suggestion really quick. Electric blue lipstick. Hmm. I will make that suggestion was, just to match the headphones. I was going to go dark shades, but yes, I should coordinate, you know. Looking out for you, Ben. Yeah. Should I go with <laughs> knee highs or thigh highs? Thigh highs, I won't have to oh, shave. Shit. <laughs> thigh uh, highs, you won't have to shave. So you're going to shave your legs? Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. What is I, this podcast I, I shaved my arms already. Oh, for the tats? Yeah, yeah. The hardest thing is shaving when, when you're right-handed, shaving your right arm with your left hand. Oh, it's so crazy. Do you slip and like I slit have a, your wrist? I got used to it now yeah, a little bit. Don't bend. When no I, cutting. I say, when I got mine, they usually just do it right on the spot. I don't know if you just did it beforehand or what the fuck. Self-harm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I was doing it beforehand. Because like, uh, when you have a whole sleeve, you, you know, like I have dragons all over me. If they get all weird and furry looking, it's just weird. I don't know. I've, I've kind of <laughs> neglected becomes, it a little bit. A little from, bit of uh, what's the thing from Never Ending Story? Uh, Falcor? Falcor the Luck Dragon. Yes! Betray you! Um, all right, so now we're going to move on to some articles. Articles. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Uh, landlords in Theresa May's Con constituency oh, blah, 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 blah. constituency threatened to ban her from every pub damn <laughs> seems to be the only way she'll get the message <laughs> so <laughs> does she go to pubs often the prime she minister does not just pops look happy in about that for a drinky drink <laughs> she's a drunken peasant Theresa May could be banned from every pub in her constituency following anger from bar owners over police cuts Landlords have reportedly banned together to keep the prime minister away from all licensed venues in Maidenhead after she slashed police budgets by 413 million pounds in the last 12 months. The group said it could now take up to one hour for police to respond to incidents in their pubs, which endangered their staff and customers. So they're banning oh Theresa God. May in response? Yeah, like what? That's like banning her from taking the subway. <laughs> Oh no, can't take the subway. <laughs> like she's going to a fucking pub. Man, it is getting hot in here. It's I'm you. saying, it's dude. You. Oh man, everyone's going to love our sponsor. <laughs> it's, yeah. Are you. Should I just. Oh, okay, guys. Okay. Are you going right to the sponsor? Is that what you're doing? Really quick, because it's almost, it's almost like funny. Are you tr are you tricking me tonight, this, Ben? This is I'm gonna go. Uh, we're gonna come right back into this. I just it's just funny, just given the whole circumstance. I think right Ben's now. seducing me. Mm. Okay, but this is 100 uh, percent legit advertisement. I'm gonna go to it really quick here. Hey there, Drunken Peasants fans. Are you looking to spice things up in the bedroom? Been fantasizing about surprising your lover with an adventurous new toy or adult movie? Well, here's an offer you won't be able to resist. Go to adamandeve.com and for a limited time only, 
you'll get 50% off just about any item. But that's not all. When you select your one item at 50% off, you'll also receive three free adult DVDs for a little inspiration. Plus, a free extra gift so sensual, we can't even mention it. And to top it all off, they will even throw in free shipping on your entire order. No, they're not kidding. So check out adamandeve.com today for this special offer. Get 50% off one item plus three free DVDs, a free extra gift, and free shipping when you enter the offer code PEASANTS at checkout. Just use the offer code P-E-A-S-A-N-T-S at adamandeve.com. That's P-E-A-S-A-N-T-S at adamandeve.com. We've made this offer to our fans in the past, and we've got tons of great feedback. So check it out. Peasants at adamandeve.com. Yeah. I fucking knew it was going to be that, too. <laughs> <laughs> so hold up. You enter the code peasants, and you get half off your, your, your purchase. Basically everything. Three DVDs and an unmentionable? An unmentionable, and the shipping is free. Yeah, but there is an unmentionable. There's Do an unmentionable. What that unmentionable is at all? Is it just like, by the way, it could be just a dildo or some shit? Uh, like, I've heard some stories from people that did order it the last time we ran this campaign, and it's yeah, it's unmentionable. Fucking do. <laughs> I am. That's I actually. Do a, it, but I'm very curious what the unmentionable is. That's a really good deal. I almost, I almost want to order one on my phone right now to be here for the 24 episode, 24 hours, so I could use it on you, Benjamin. Billy, you go. Oh my fucking god! I was gonna say, Billy, you got to order it and do a fucking unboxing on the 24 hour stream. <laughs> you know what's in the box? Yeah, we should we should each order a box and then have a fight with with whatever weapon we choose out of the box. <laughs> this was the first time I played an ad and like two hundred people didn't leave. They were all there, like <laughs> yeah. that's a good ad, Go dude. On. Yes, they the porn music was the best. Like I was like royalty free, sexy music is what I looked for. And, and that's so what this I found. is why you're in the mood to get naked and whip mm. me and shit. Yeah, dude, it, it, it took me like two or three takes, you know, and I was like, Oh, slapping myself like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, back to this article that everyone cares about the town's pub watch, a group, which normally deals with troublemakers will reportedly table a call to ban Miss May at this week's meeting. David Kimber, manager of the Off Tap Pub, told the Mirror, "This seems to be the only way she'll get the message. No, no, she won't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, this is she's the prime minister. She doesn't care about. I mean, like she can have people bring drinks to her." Or why does she give a fuck? Or she can go to like a, not a pub. She can go to a fancy fucking. Uh, What's fancy? I only go to pubs. I mean, <laughs> like, she'd go I to wonder. a lounge. I don't think she's going out in public and drinking with people anyway. Not too often. She'd have to have like a security entourage yeah. with her and all that shit. Uh, yeah, we're not a teacher. I wonder if we can sort of replicate this in America with Trump, like with steakhouses or like fucking golf golf. He course shouldn't be allowed in steakhouse steakhouses. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Any steakhouse worth their merit won't serve somebody well done with ketchup. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. It's, it's not. It, no. Fuck. That's just, it takes a special type of psycho to order a steak well done with ketchup. God damn. All right. We're going to move on to the next one here. This is. Uh... Oh, hey. So it's a uh, mashup of both worlds. So this is Donald Trump attacks the UK's health service and Britain hits back. So, Donald Trump's habit of testing the U.S. relationship with Britain took a new turn Monday when he attacked the U.K.'s National Health Service, claiming it is going broke and not working. The U.S. president hit out on Twitter minutes after a segment aired on Fox News that highlighted winter strains on the U.K. health care system. Trump accused Democrats of pushing similar universal health care systems for the U.S. And here's Trump's tweet. The Democrats are pushing for universal health care while thousands of people are marching in the U.K. because their U system is going broke and not working. Okay. Dems want to greatly raise taxes for really for really bad and non-personal <laughs> Medicare. No thanks. Really bad. Really bad. Really bad, not good. No thanks. 
Trump drew swift con- con- condemnation, from, condemnation Britain's- from Britain's health secretary, Jeremy Hunt, who has been under fire for the government's handling of a winter health crisis that prompted a protest march in London last weekend. Tweeting back at the president, Hunt said he was proud of Britain's universal coverage, which allows patients free health care at the point of access. So strangely enough, the next article kind of fits in with this one. You ready for this one? Go yeah. On. This is a uh, man uses one million dollars oh, to fight about this. Oh. He uses one million dollars that he won to visit doctor. Finally gets terminal cancer diagnosis dies weeks later. What the fuck? You know what this instantly reminded me of, and it's fucked up. What's that fucking? I think it's the. I think it's Alanis Morissette. That fucking. It's like rain on your wedding Isn't it day. Isn't Well, here, here's the thing. Preventative care is the most important thing. Catching yeah. uh, horrible illnesses early, very important. That's why routine physicals and getting checkups when you when you feel sick, all very important. But it's expensive. Yeah. It's, so this I've guy won a million dollars. He's like. I might as well go see a doctor, you know, want a million dollars. So he didn't have any symptoms beforehand? Uh, no, I guess he wasn't we'll... feeling good. In the article, it says essentially he uh, he wasn't feeling good for quite some time uh, and he didn't have health care. So he, if I'm correct, he didn't have health care, but he used some of the money to get a doctor's appointment and that happened. A New York lottery winner who used some of his million dollar prize to pay for a visit to the doctor was told he had stage four cancer and died several weeks later. Uh, David Savastano, who won oh, one man. million playing the New York Lottery's Merry Millionaire game, said on claiming his prize that he had bought a ticket on a whim, who was hope and was hoping the money would change his life for the better. Being a self-employed carpenter, I didn't really have a plan for retirement. The money will help with that. I don't have any other extravagant plans. I'll buy a new truck, pay off some debt, and invest for the future. Wow. Well, well. Well, hope those were some short-term investments. It was the fucking kiss of death is what it was. Jesus. That system you have in uh, the UK, it's very bad, okay? Here in Exhibit America, a. we give we give men a million dollars, and their cancer's over within weeks. <laughs> I had insurance. Oh. Uh, insurance that you get through from your employer, even if it's like a shitty employer, is way better than anything you can buy on your own. And I had I had insurance that was like four to five hundred dollars a month, and I went and got a, a colonoscopy and an endoscopy, and I ended up still having to pay like three thousand dollars out of pocket for it. Fuck, damn! And, because they negotiate essentially what, with what you're going to pay. Yeah, and I'm still paying it. I'm I'm Fuck. still paying it, and now I don't have insurance because I can't afford it. We should just Jesus move to Canada, Christ. which is why I'm almost naked on the internet. <laughs> which, that's the truth. Mr. Naughty Priest, man. I mean, someone con- you know s- someone has contact with Mr. Naughty Priest because yeah, they like where's fucking came in like an MP like an MVP there for a fucking They second. were like, Jesus. "Oh, where's Naughty Priest?" and then he shows up. So someone has a way of contacting that motherfucker. It's like a God. bat signal, but it's just like maybe Naughty uh, Priest is always there. He's in our hearts and in our he's minds. Your guardian, he's your guardian angel. And he really wants to see Ben's dick on Pornhub now. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, as well as thinking about his newly found fortune to book a vacation and buy himself a new truck, the self-employed carpenter also took the opportunity to pay for a visit to the doctor, something he had previously not been able to afford. But during his appointment, the doctor told Sabastano, who had reportedly been feeling unwell for some time, they had stage four cancer in his lung and brain. Oh. Yeah, that's the end when it's in your brain, usually. Yeah, you're, the fi- you're done. The 51-year-old died just three weeks later after winning the jackpot and getting his diagnosis. Daniel Scott, who worked at the store, told Savastano his winning ticket, or sold Savastano his winning ticket, told ABC7 he was self-employed, he didn't have insurance, and hadn't been feeling good for a while. I guess when he got the money, he went into the doctor. (sighs) Fuck, this is a sad story, because it's like, oh, he won money, and then just everything went down. I don't think it's that sad for, it's a, little for sad, a short amount of time. Right. He was a millionaire and uh, 
He probably would have lost all the money anyways and then died of a coke binge or something. You Life has like a way. coke binge. Yeah. You hear those stories of like people who win the lottery like that serious amount of money and then everything just goes fucking wrong for them after. I don't know if it's just like common, I think, but... I think what happens is you end up spending a lot of money taking care of people around you and it just like gets yeah. way too overwhelming and then they effectively eat you because nobody around you knows how to manage money. And neither yeah. do you. God damn. Yeah. See, I need a surgery. I, I need my hernia removed, but right now it's okay. It's not too bad. But I know that if I got it, I'd be in the hole for like tens of thousands of dollars without insurance. So yeah. it's really fucked up. All right. Uh, let's see what else we got. This is crazy. Angry woman jumps from boyfriend's car at 60 miles an hour motorway during a heated row and survives. Yeah, if you don't like it, get the fuck out of my car, bitch. <laughs> and she did. Bye, <laughs> motherfucker. Boom, 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 boom. I'm hoping she tucked and rolled, if anything. Oh, we got video? video. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, shit. Watch. Oh, God. He goes all the way over to the Ooh. side for her. That was nice. There was some courtesy there, though, for at least getting her on, like, soft dirt. Uh, yeah, couldn't he have slowed down? Well, I mean, she was jumping out. If he would have slowed down there, they would have got hit by the car behind him. Yeah. She's jumping Wait. out. Oh. <laughs> she God. is a crazy what fucking fuck? woman, though. That's... Jesus fucking Christ. The shocking moment... <laughs> this is the shocking moment an angry woman jumped out of her boyfriend's car at 60 miles per hour on a motorway during a heated row. Amazingly, she walked away with only minor injuries after a stern telling off by police. <laughs> fuck. Fight. I genuinely want to know what was it that fucking set her off to just be like, fuck it, I'm out. PMS. Like, he probably had crunchy Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> These are too loud, takes. tuck and roll. That's all it takes. As a passenger door flew open, the driver veered violently across the road, and the woman, wearing only shorts and a thin top, tumbled out onto the hard shoulder in Taiwan. He was like, oh, bitch, you dress like such a slut. Get out of my car. Look at you. It just helped. <laughs> yep. And she tucked and rolled. I'm, it's kind of amazing that he got three lanes over without her, like, f jumping out when he was, like, moving over. Because, like, she could have easily got sideswiped and pulled under that tire while he was moving over like that. I, the I'm timing of that. I was going to say, I'm just more surprised that, like, the car didn't, like, swerve when, she, when he was fucking turning over there. If she had jumped, <laughs> jumped straight onto the road, she could have been hit by vehicles approaching fast from behind. The incredible incident was triggered by an argument between the young couple who were reported to be in their 20s. It was captured on the dash cam of a vehicle traveling behind them on Freeway 1 in the city of Tainan? Tainan. Tainan. Tainan in Taiwan. <laughs> Tainan in Taiwan. Tainan in Taiwan. The video shows the passenger's side door suddenly open while the car zips along the motorway. It pulls right towards the hard shoulder and the woman suddenly rolls out of the car. She tumbles several times along the hard shoulder as the clip ends with the witness calling the police afterwards. Local authorities said the incident happened around 2 p.m. on Freeway 1 outside blah blah. Shinging district. Shing, 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 shing district. Wow. Yeah. She's, what? That's some crazy shit. She was in really damn would, shorts and a tank top, right? I, I really would love to be a fly on the wall of the car in, during this whole thing. I he was, wouldn't. He was driving her to her job at Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> Taiwan Hooters. I bet you there is one. Probably. There, sh there should be. They call it nubs, though. French woman gives birth to rubber glove and five compresses <laughs> after surgeon forgot them. Yeah, what May the Young. Fuck is Mark Henry? No way. This is almost as bad as the surgeon who was like uh, oh, etching his shit. name into people's organs. Yeah, I heard about. Oh my god, that's nuts. A French woman is suing a surgeon after she gave birth. I like how they. <laughs> To a latex glove and five compresses, which she which she allegedly forgot were in her womb during an operation. Oh, my God. The 48-year-old woman, Christ. who has not been named, was operated on at a private clinic in Mar Marcel. Or Marcel. Marcel. Yeah, I guess so. Marcel, southern France. I, when I'm confronted with foreign words, I'm like, what the fuck? How do I say it? <laughs> 
After doctors carried out an endro endometrial ablation. Andrometrial ablation. Oh, Everybody yeah. Knows that. Those Thank happen you. all the Thank time. You. Thank you Supposedly a less invasive way to stop periods than a hysterectomy. Okay, so she wasn't giving birth. Uh, this was... I, I'm like 48 years old, and she's giving birth. Like, that's that's amazing on its own, but that's the only birth thing. she was giving here was the fucking compresses and the latex glove. This was all to give her a hysterectomy. Jesus. Or uh, the alternative to a hysterectomy. An endometrial ablation. It's, it's less invasive. All, all that happens is that all the shit gets left up inside of you. That's all. It's less invasive, though. Yeah, this is how we're going to stop periods. We're going to cram you full of compresses and late decker gloves. <laughs> oh, doctors told her after her operation last April that everything had gone well. However, she she was soon suffering from excruciating pain, couldn't sleep, was sick, and found out and found it hard to urinate. She found herself in the hall of pain. <laughs> it just keeps coming back to Mark Henry. A fucking course it does. I had the feeling someone was stabbing me with a knife in the belly, but I thought it was linked to the operation. She told the Persian. I naturally talked about it with nurses and the surgeon. He told me that I was a lightweight and prescribed painkillers without conducting any extra examinations. <laughs> she went home, but the pain continued. After three days of atrocious pain in the lower stomach, I started having extremely strong contractions and finally expelled a glove and five compresses. She said the, con shit. the contraction lasted four hours and left her in a pool of blood. Wow. Ugh. It's the stuff of nightmares. Ugh. When she realized the cause of her misery, she went straight back to the clinic to confront the surgeon and was shocked at his allegedly flippant reaction when he said, if you're not happy, go ahead and contact my insurance company. I'm very well insured. That so, guy can go fuck himself. Jesus he, Christ. He instantly played down the seriousness of what I'd been through and placed the blame on the nurses, saying he delegated a lot of things in the operating theater. He didn't apologize, she said. You, you can't really apologize for things like that, right? It, just, it makes you more liable in a suit. I know in, in America, an apology can be used against you. I don't know how it works in other countries, though. After the ordeal, the woman was unable to work for several months, continues to suffer from chronic urinary tract infections, and requires psychological counseling. Above all, she said she was shocked at the doctor's high-handed attitude. He was very disdainful and took the whole thing with a pinch of salt. Everyone makes mistakes, but this attitude drove me to file a legal complaint, she said. Despite my suffering, I was lucky. I could have got septicemia and died. I wouldn't like to, it to happen to anyone else, she said. The case continues. The case continues. Yeah, like what more do they need to investigate? I mean, like, do they need to try and determine if she didn't do this to herself or not? I mean... <laughs> she was just jamming shit up her yep. pussy and it got like, stuck uh, in her womb. I'll, ha I'll have a malpractice Trying to fucking get insurance injury. fraud going or some shit. God damn. That's... I don't... I cannot believe that, like, a doctor could be so fucking negligent to just leave that there. Oh, I can. They deal with people every fucking day and... It becomes routine, right? You let one thing get in the middle of your routine. You make a mistake. You know, you, doctors don't care about human lives like they care about their fucking golf game. <laughs> Dude, I fucking love that wide ad that you cut <laughs> last week. I, I, listen, <laughs> I listen to it over and over again. <laughs> You can try the flambois Francois. Flambois Francois from North. I was listening to that fucking earlier at work. I was like, what is he what is he on about right now? You know. The I think it's a frambois. I, I still don't know. <laughs> Lambic Lambic Frambois. I don't know. It's it's delicious. It's fruity. Right there. Right it's right a good there, drink. Bro, You got it. It's a good drink. <laughs> I just imagine Billy hosting a fucking wine taste. It's like, now if you'll excuse me, please uh, raise this glass of Frambois Benchois to your yeah. nose. Take a nice whiff. Who wants some Donkel mo mons Monsters? <laughs> it happens. Donkel Monsters? We got some Donkel Monsters. Who wants a drink? Sure. Shit. We're actually, uh, we're actually going to... There's a, there's a monthly meetup for Twitch streamers in Seattle. 
and we're going we're, we're going to the is one uh, yeah. yeah if anybody in seattle is gonna be around um knock on wood you might show up we'll be there i gotta i gotta get in on that fucking with as much twitch streaming as i do i gotta fucking get in on that oh are you in the area or something no, 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 no. I mean, I would have to make a trip of oh. it, if anything. Oh, I always yeah. wanted to you to should. Seattle, so. a, a lot of people make trips to come out to these things. They're monthly, and there's a whole bunch of, like, Twitch stars, like, girls and boys that wear their hair with colors and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why. That's, that's, that's <laughs> so many people on Twitch have, like, anime hair. And everyone's like, hey, are you Billy the Fridge? Yeah. Are you oh, Billy Fridge? I think there's, like, when it comes to the Twitch streamers with, like, the various hairstyles, there's that type and then the only other type i know of is fucking dr disrespect with his fucking wig that's like literally it <laughs> like yeah. he broke twitch today like did you see that i heard it was pretty good Who did? like dr disrespect three, was he fucking landed like three hundred and fifty thousand live viewers at one i think time. it was three hundred eighty seven thousand at one point yeah he so. basically said he broke the record yeah that's nuts if anybody's out there and they are watching Dr. Disrespect's replays right now, um, give us some of that. <laughs> give us some of that juice, Dr. Disrespect. <laughs> like, he, he's a character, Mojo. right? He's, he's, yeah, he's a character. He's not himself. He plays a character. He plays it very well. Man, we should start playing characters. I always play a character. I don't know what you're talking about. You oh, don't shit. even know the real me. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah the this real is him a character. Is, the real him is trapped then. You're about to meet the real me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you're going to find out, and it's going to be just the whole book is going to open up, and you're like, oh, my God. Have you, have you ever seen one of those places uh, called GameWorks before? They're like the big arcades. It's kind of oh, like yeah. a Dave and Buster's. But kind of, but they have, like a a land, they have like a land center in there yeah. and stuff, too. <laughs> but that, that's where they have the... Uh, that's where they have the meetups for the for all the twitches, all the twitches. So we'll be there Saturday night, and uh, probably you know, eating eating babies and drinking fucking <sighs> beers. Eating babies. I don't, that's, is that that's, isn't that's that what money. kids that's, call hamburgers these days? That's that's oh. definitely against the TOS. I'm gonna probably assume. <laughs> no, it's 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 a metaphor for hamburgers. They call it eating babies. Is what the vegans do. Make sure you IRL that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I think we're good. Okay. All right. I gotta say, I'm pretty happy that. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> wop, 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 wop. I gotta say, fucking. Never think you're actually gonna see that fucking crazy people intro live. And when you do, you're just like, oh my god. He's, he's fanboying real. out. You see that? <laughs> I, I, I am. I'll admit I that. Never, I'm just like, holy shit. I never thought I would see crazy people. I never people. thought I'd see the day. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Now, if you have a fucking Vigilant Christian video like lined up, I'm going to lose my fucking shit, so... Hello, <laughs> we'll everyone. There. This is the Vigilant Christian Mario. Yeah, uh, I loved it when we had Evan on, and he was like, uh, you know, some people think that the Vigilant Christian Mario is a closeted homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how I he will, said it. <laughs> I will tell you right now, I have had a pipe dream about that concept before, and I have to explain it like a video that I would love to see happen. Now, let me with... explain. Let me explain. It's a theory, but it's also it would be an amazing video that would get me to subscribe to the Vigilant Christian. You want to watch him do gay porn? Is what you're saying? No, 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 no. I want him to. He's gonna. I want him. The the setup is him on a, doing like one of his normal satanic Illuminati exposed videos. He's got his phone up doing it, and he walks into another room while he's doing this thing. And in the background is some Canadian Milo Yiannopoulos looking motherfucker. And you hear him in the background go, Hey, sweetie, are you done with your web series video? <laughs> and he's just got the and slam hammer. Moment, and at that moment, he needs to make a choice. And that choice is one, he breaks down crying on camera. Or two, he exercises that motherfucker like the satanic Illuminati is coming after me. And he has to try and exercise him out of the fucking house. He Have does wrote... that. Oh, there's more? I will subscribe. No, Have you wrote fanfic that. about Ben? 
<laughs> I mean, no, no. But just, just the vigilant Christian. Love- I've thought of this. This has been a theory. This is something I've been like. This needs you've, to fucking happen. You've seriously been having instantly. erotic thoughts about the vigilant Christian here. Oh yes, every, every day. That's exactly what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> All right here is uh, <laughs> here's a video uh, uh, about last night's Super Bowl halftime show. Actually, oh fuck yes! Guess what? Guess what? <laughs> Guess what? It's what? It's satanic. Oh, I feel sorry for people whose only form of entertainment oh, on the weekends God. is watching a bunch it. of millionaires in tights chase after a little ball on a grass field trying to score some points. Well, I, I, it's not that they're millionaires and they choose to do this. They're millionaires because they do this. They so, make a lot of fucking oh, money. Just a bunch of millionaires in tights. <laughs> you know, it's like it's like oh, all the Fortune 500 CEOs are out there in tights playing football. <laughs> it's the millionaires in tights because the billionaires in fucking suits put them there. Exactly. Of course, yesterday it's, was the Super Bowl. What are the biggest holidays in America? Something that even many non fucking hate fans this guy's enjoy voice watching because yeah. of the commercials. The show started with the gender non-conforming singer Pink, which is also raising its daughter to is be she? gender non-conforming. Uh, uh, yeah, I was about to ask, is she? No. Because she cuts yeah. her hair short. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, like, I've heard I, I've heard her uh, choose a gender. I believe yeah. she's uh, cis. She's cis yeah. white female. Yeah. And she specifically sings songs that cater to little fucking girls. She did yeah. fuck up pretty bad singing the national anthem, but whatever. I couldn't do any better, so I'm not going to hate. I don't give a shit I guess someone that. did hate on her, and she responded to them, and that person ended up, like, making their Twitter private. <laughs> oh, wow. I did see, um, I did see, like, right off the bat, like, when she, like, right off the, right off the bat of the fucking, uh, her performance, I guess she pulled gum out of her mouth, and, like, Twitter went fucking wild about that shit for no reason. They're like, hashtag gumgate. I'm like, no, don't you dare do this. Singing the national anthem, and surprisingly, everybody stood. There were a lot of star-studded commercials this year, like this Jeep commercial featuring Jeff Goldblum with a Jurassic Park theme. Aeros- uh, no shit, Jeff Goldblum was in Jurassic Park. Yeah. Steven Tyler played a race car driver in this Kia. Wow, Steven Tyler I looks will- fucking frightening. <laughs> I will admit that was a weird fucking concept of a commercial. He just drives backwards and in like super, like old Superman movie style, he becomes younger. Ooh, I didn't see that. That sounds interesting. It was Steven weird. Tyler looks like uh, a female to male transgender to me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> The commercial. He looks like and Captain Jack Sparrow. It's, Rosie it's O'Donnell the lips. played herself in this TurboTax ad. Dodge Ram is facing huge backlash after they used a clip from a sermon from Martin Luther King to try to sell trucks. You don't have to know the theory of relativity to sell it. I mean, they can use whatever they want, and it may yeah. have been an effective advertisement. But I didn't, I didn't see a truck ad coming when this ad started. I was like, oh, you know, it's Black History Month, whatever. You know, they normally do this kind of stuff in February, but then all of a sudden, you it's, know, someone's driving a truck, and I'm like, forty horsepower, yeah, <laughs> forty mule power, and, and an acre of land, <laughs> and it will be judged by the content <laughs> of its badass. Fuck. That is just wrong! Using a speech of a civil rights icon 50 years after he's been dead to try to sell trucks or to try to sell anything is beyond shameful. What's even more shameful is that the Martin Luther King estate, which owns the copyright to that speech, licensed it to Dodge for the commercial. Yeah, so that's why there's nothing wrong with it. Whatever. It it doesn't even matter if he would have had a moral problem with it. He's long gone. People own the rights to this shit. They can sell it as they see fit. Whatever. So his family got paid for it, or like whoever whoever owns the right to it's probably his estate. I mean, his son is still alive and everything. Wasn't bad enough. Coca Cola went full blown social justice warrior, embracing the 58 different gender identities that liberals have been. (laughs) Is Tupac a gender identity now? Yeah, gay Tupac. (laughs) All eyes on my gender (laughs) there's a coke for he and she and her 
And then cousin it. And them. Notice that this thing is wearing the LGBT ABC Is this what Mark Dice is doing now? Just fucking reacting to shit? Like, yeah. on a green screen? Like, he is does that what, it now? He does what we do, kind of. I mean... symbol around its neck as the narrator refers to it as them. They and them are the gender non-conforming pronouns that people who don't want to identify as either a man or a woman use. Since this person is gender non-conforming, you can't refer to her as a her or a she, so instead you must refer to it as a they or them. I miss the days when we could refer to these people with simple acronyms, like LGBT, but that's not inclusive enough, so they have I expanded was, it now. I was, I was waiting. And I feel like he's going to do it. I was waiting for the LGBTQRSTUV joke that so many fucking people have made. I, I can sense it coming. LGBTQQICAPF2K+. I don't think this is a joke. It now stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, questioning, intersex, curious, asexual, agender, which is what that creature in this Coke commercial is. Agender meaning no gender at all. Ally, pansexual, polysexual, friends and family, two spirit. For what, wait, what's friends and family? Is that friends and family of Is that incest? Of I know, it sounds like incest. Or is that like a phone plan through like oh, uh, T Mobile? Two spirit is like a oh, Native uh, American term. Uh, it's, it's on Sprint, by the way. We we got it over here. It's on Sprint. <laughs> friends and family? <laughs> friends yeah, and yeah, family plan? Yeah. yeah. A leftist magazine in London called the Gay UK says that the acronym has been growing since the 1990s out of a need to move away from limiting the gay community and to encompass any community that defines itself as anything but heterosexual or cisgender. Then T-Mobile aired I'll this creepy social justice warrior ad while a rendition of Nirvana's All Apologies played in the background as the lullaby. Okay, while the narrator uh, uh, one told thing I'll say, the, the, vid the cover was creepy, but it's just a bunch of babies. It's, it's Those creepy ass babies. babies. Yeah, what's wrong with little cute babies and some Nirvana? Oh, by yeah. the way, Billy, uh, our our Patreon goal now ninety nine percent complete. So you might want to nice. Oh, you might want to no. write a last will and testament or something. All apologies. <laughs> How drunk can I be? I haven't drank for like two months. No, month I will be half. fully clothed while you're drunk. By the way, you sure? Yeah. You sure about that, yep. Ben? Yep. Yep. Mm, this is going to suck. They could be gay. They're going to fight the wage gap. And they're going to make the world a more equal place. Good. Or they're just cute babies. That's it. These babies can do whatever the fuck they want. I don't care. They're babies. They're adorable. allow where you come from to dictate where you're going. to say no to that face? No, oh, his speaking face. Of a wage the baby's gap, face. This little Asian baby has the highest statistical probability of growing up to become the highest income earner out of all the races, even over white people. But pointing out the fact that Asians are actually the highest income earners in the United States doesn't fit very well with the left's anti-white agenda. At least the halftime show this year didn't look like a satanic ceremony choreographed by some Aleister Crowley fans like some have been known to in the past. It did look like they were virtue signaling with these rainbows, though, to the LGBTQ. Q I C A P F two K plus community. You got it right. So That's I guess they can get through a Hollywood oh. performance without them overtly or covertly pushing the leftist agenda is still just too much to ask. Oh, and that Coca Cola commercial reminds me that I do have a There Are Only Two Genders shirt available in my online store <laughs> at markdice.com or click the Sweet link in the geez. description below. There's all sorts of other cool stuff there too. Your purchase helps keep this channel going. So I hope you guys will check it out. I think I'm a third gender. Like, there's, there's, there's the male, female, and then when you get to be a certain weight, you lose what makes you male or female. Like, a fat guy and a fat girl, big, morbidly obese, fat guy, fat girl, they look exactly the same. Are they're, you serious? They're like this level of androgyny that only exists when you have puffer fish, fat fucking cheekies. So <laughs> I might actually be a third gender. So we have a what new... Oh, no, no, go ahead, go ahead. I was just going to ask Billy, what are your pronouns then? Uh, fat? I don't know. <laughs> I don't give a shit, fat dude. Self? I've been, I've been gender, uh, misgendered by actual transsexuals. Trans <laughs> people come up to me and think I'm fucking in transition. And I'm like, you assume my gender. It's not that big of a deal. Why do you get so worked up over it when fucking Mima, the 
redneck cowgirl calls you a fucking her or a him. It's really not that big of a fucking deal. People are stupid and they're always going to miss pronounce other people if they don't know you very well if you know someone very well and you know how much it means to them to be called they or them you're gonna go out of your way to call them they or them nobody's that big of a dickhead this mark dice guy if he had someone if he had that fucking girl from the coke commercial with the short hair and she wore the rainbow collar and she was like i respond to they is he gonna be like nope you're she you're she to me. No. He's not going to be like that. He's going to be like, okay, I'll just call you they because I respect you as a human being. The problem is we don't respect people as human beings that we don't have a close bond with anymore. We've been so disconnected on a human level for many different reasons. We don't need social justice. We need social awareness. People need to start understanding that people are people again and not just fucking subscribers or likes or followers Preach on your on. fucking friend page. And I like girls that, that got short hair and big old fucking tits. Well, <laughs> they want me to call them they or them. I'm down. I'll call you young fucking Harry Potter if that gets me the ass. I don't care. Young Harry Potter. I will call her that if that's what gets me the butt. <sighs> right on. All right. So we have a new segment. We don't have an intro for it yet. It's called the drunken stupor. And it's basically just videos of drunk people doing ridiculous shit. You and must have gotten a lot from the Super Bowl. Fuck. We're getting, we, we get a lot of them in general. And by the way, guys, the, uh, the Facebook inbox for drunken peasants is, is still open and you guys can still send us your video suggestions there. That's one of the best places to send in your stuff. Uh, and, Here's here's part of our new segment, the drunken stupor. Canadian guy, Canadian drunk guy falls off uh, Amsterdam sign. Come on. <laughs> oh, oh, this has already got bad news written all over. Oh fuck. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Let's. Let's slow that down. That was some <laughs> fucking... Look Can at this girl turn around slow? holding her laugh in. This guy probably just died, and she can't help but laugh. I don't think he died, but he, he like, he broke his shoulder or something. Up, here, here we go again. Um, but, laughing is the right reaction to this, though. If someone does something this stupid, they don't deserve your, your care anymore. They get your chuckles, and that's it. Not Spider-Man. <laughs> Lean forward. Should have leaned on that one. Wow. Jesus. Drunk guy tries to cut watermelon with a machete. Oh no. This is gonna end fucking badly. Machetes are dangerous, dude. Oh no. It's no. Jesus. Oh, no, 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 you do not cut it that way. No, 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 no. So he's you do got not this cut watermelon. This like, wh okay. what would you call that? He's holding it up hot dog style? He's or? holding it up and he's bracing it with his hand on top of it. And he's going to cut through it. And he's already putting pressure down onto it. So when the watermelon gives, his hand is going to fall down. He's going to, I'm calling it right now. He's going to slam his face into that table. <sighs> Oh my god, this is bothering me. Oh my god! Oh. He oh sliced god. his hand open. Right oh. into his fucking hand! That's what I was saying! He was holding it up in his hand. Dude, when you're, when you're gonna slice something in half, you don't push down onto it like that. Oh my god! Yeah. What a sick, dumb weirdo! Why would he oh, do this? God. That seriously, <laughs> that's God. like some Darwin level of stupidity. That one I can only laugh at. A like shock. Oh my God! He just that's, that's went awful. right into his own hand. Just yeah, like a dumb shit. That that seriously disturbs me. Here's uh, what else do we got here? Oh. It's in the wrong place. Here's a drunk guy versus ceiling fan. Oh, I think I know. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh dude. Dude. Oh. Bye-bye. Oh, that was hurt. 
Oh, at least he landed on the couch. That's fine. Is it over? Does the ceiling fan fall on his no. head now? That's it. Oh, you goofy little dumb shit. When you said drunk when guy. you said drunk guy versus ceiling fan, I thought it was gonna be like like Steve O style where he just fucking runs into it and breaks it or something like that. Well, after the watermelon guy, I thought this guy was gonna get decapitated. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna go that far. I didn't know what to expect. I was scared. Drunk guy in Star Wars pajamas climbs a drain pipe, then falls. <laughs> Those R2D2 PJs? He has the high ground. Or the Stormtrooper. Uh, looks like Stormtrooper, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, that looks like Stormtrooper. Yeah, that looks like Stormtrooper. Du, oh. du sa kunne legge ut det her på YouTube. Ja. ja. <laughs> I couldn't hear what he was saying, except I heard YouTube at the end. I guess, yeah. <laughs> he was like, go to pay to some percentage YouTube. into that wall. Here's a drunk woman at a wedding. Woman at a wedding? Damn, that pole's about to get some action tonight. <laughs> oh my god. This whole tent is coming down. I can I'm calling it. Look at the bride. She's like, <laughs> oh, fuck she's this pissed. bitch. This girl looks like she's fake dancing, trying to like impress somebody. Yeah, oh, here goes. Come on. What a twat. She does. Yeah. She did that on purpose. That was a hit job. That woman this was not that like, drunk. This turned into the like end of a found footage movie. <laughs> this is Cloverfield Four. Bridezilla. That that girl does not like the bride. You could tell the way the bride looked at her. Yeah. Oh, the bride's oh, bleeding shit. out of the face too. Ooh, oh, Jesus. she caught like the roof to her septum. Oh my god. <laughs> the bride's like, I knew she was gonna do that. I Fuck sat there and watched bitch. her. I knew that was gonna happen. Now I'm bleeding on my wedding. Fuck that bitch. That bitch. She ain't getting invited. That back. bitch. All these women they keep p tilting the camera towards are like way hotter than the girl dancing. The, that's why the, she was drunk dancing because she realized she was, the, she was the ugliest one at the fucking wedding. She's like, well, I'm going to ruin this entire wedding. Fuck them for being so statuesquely beautiful. Damn. This must be in Israel. I don't know where this is. All Israeli women are gorgeous, just like my Natalie Portman. Your Natalie Portman. I mean... Yeah, that was weird when you were talking about how you wanted a clone of Natalie Portman to make your sex slave, and then we had to talk about whether or not clones had rights. I feel like yeah. that's a... That's very... Oh, God. <laughs> I remember that, actually. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's like, no, they, they don't have to. They're, they're not people, you know? Just, like, have sex with them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know the rules. Sort of, they are. They are people. The yeah. only difference is that they they weren't created through sexual reproduction, yeah. and they have the DNA of one person you think instead they, of two people. Do you think since God didn't create them, that they still would be humans, though? Yes. Well, do clones, throw something do clones have souls, Ben? <laughs> Someone put Natalie Portman in triple Adam, brackets. <laughs> Natalie Portman. I just, you know, Israeli women are very beautiful, and this looks like an Israeli wedding because all these women It doesn't are look like a Jewish wedding, though. Israeli. I Israelis are Jewish. Yeah, but, like, I'm talking, like, the Sephardic. Fartic. Sephardic. You said Fartic. Ashkenazi. Ashkenazi. I don't actually know. 
They're probably Greek or something. The 23 and Me conspiracy to make <laughs> everyone think that they're at least part Jewish. I met some girls this week that didn't have Jewish in them. They did 23 and Me and they mm-hmm. didn't get the, the Jewish quotient back. Really? Were they white? I s- uh, one was Native American and one was white. They both didn't have mm-hmm. it. I was like... This is the first time I'm seeing anybody who took a 23 and me not have Ashkenazi in it. I had Ashkenazi Jew in, in my history. A very small percentage because I'm pretty much the whitest person I've ever met. Uh, I've yeah, seen, I've seen Facebook friends actually yeah. get the, the Ashkenazi thing in theirs as well. Yeah, no, it's a big. A lot it's of there's this common. conspiracy. There is a conspiracy that 23 and me is trying to up the Ashkenazi numbers for some sort of um, agenda. I don't know what that is, but... <laughs> I, I was just, I'm glad I was a part of it because maybe now Natalie Portman will see me in my 0.1% Ashkenazi Jew blood and she'll marry me. Jew blood. Is, can, is, can I not say that? No, you can. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what to say anymore. This is funny. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to say. You say anymore. yeah. You, see, that's that's the sign that you're an SJW because <laughs> because I care about the and you're so afraid about what you say. I'm so afraid, but I say it anyways. That's the joke. So this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> uh, we're gonna move to Twitch in about ten minutes, and we're gonna do the cringe rap okay. segment there. Oh shit. Uh, well, okay. This is actually how we're gonna do it. We're gonna do ten more minutes here. We're gonna take a break for maybe like ten minutes or so. And then we're gonna come back to Twitch. Um, Actually, I'm gonna if it's fine, I'm just gonna run and get a drink really quick. If, if that's fine, fine. That. that is okay. absolutely fine. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up Streamlabs for the last ten minutes of the YouTube show. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, and run, get your fucking right. drink. Hurry up! All right, I'm Hurry going. up! Get your drink, thirst boy. And here we go. We'll put this up on the screen. Uh, by the way, the, uh, the... You look like you just had sex. You look so frazzled. Like, the, with the, the level of how warm it is in here. It's I'm glowing. Just, you are. I'm glowing. I don't, how did it get so warm in here? It's, it happened right after I yeah. took my clothes off. When your clothes were on, everything was chill. <laughs> no, this is This really got weird. <laughs> You're you were in a hoodie and everything. I, I'm usually always in like a hoodie though. I like to stay temperate. Dude, I love that picture of Obama giving you the donut medal of honor. <laughs> it's so dope. I got I put it on my Facebook and some guy responded with those medals aren't the appropriate medals. I know because I earned them in the war and Who gives a shit? I know. I'm like, dude, it's literally Obama putting a donut over my fucking neck. Yeah, the donut that you wear. <laughs> yeah. God, man. He's this is this is the the picture, right? Everyone wants to be the smartest guy. Everyone wants to make the smartest, most witty comment. And he's calling me out for not having the right medals here. And I'm like, dude, Obama's putting a fucking donut around my neck. Are you serious right now? <laughs> oh, but that's that's just the way it is. So Holy Streamlabs shit. is open. <laughs> if you want to try and help us, uh, I, I don't think we're going to reach the goal, but if you can help us get halfway there, that would be great. So I actually have some interesting news now. Uh, because I was I was late before uh, because we had a bit of a rat problem in the house hmm. and I had to run, I basically had to drive out to the store, get rat traps and shit and to place them down. And apparently during the course of this podcast, the rat fucking died. Oh, you fucking monster. The war has been won. You so fucking monster. How much, how much do we have to get on the tip goal tonight for you to eat the rat? Oh, fuck no. Um, <laughs> That's, ugh. It's in, like, one of those fucking traps where it's all, like, goopy and shit inside? Yeah. That's poison, I think. That's soup. It's soup. <laughs> That's ratatouille. It's, it's uh, it's, uh, marinade. <laughs> yeah. Plus, you got a little cheese there, accoutrement oh, to go with it. Oh, my God. Get me some brie. I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quick. All right. Ugh. Oh, here we go. Screw you, Billy. The realest and sexiest women are the ones who belch and fart loudly. Oh, and I do want to point out, if we can, let's say let's say at the bottom, if we can get to 300, I'll beat Billy with a belt. Oh, wow. Shit. How, You're about halfway how, there, then. How generous, you donating my ass to the stream. <laughs> you, you philanthropist. <laughs> philanthropist with your hands and fist. Bars. Holy shit, Billy met Obama? Yes, Caliphant. 
I met Obama. Obama actually oh, went yeah. to the the same donut shop that I won the donut chain in. He he like went there to get a donut when he was in Seattle one time. So technically, since it's a president presidential official, he came there with the limo motorcade and everything to oh, the nice. same spot I won my donut chain at. I technically think that makes me donut champion of America. I'm in Facebook. Facebook jail for posting a meme of Hitler complaining about his gas bill. Take my money. Wow, Antonovich. I'm sorry about that. Uh, that joke is pretty tacky. <laughs> Were you? Was he trying to pay the gas bill? Was he trying to like pay off that bill? I I, I am. I, this is his atonement. <laughs> I don't know any sort of uh, Holocaust oven gas type jokes. They're just they're just old man. I don't know. I, I'm sorry you're in Facebook jail over it, but you can't you can't fight you can't fight the the, the, the Zionist agenda, dude. You're gonna lose. I'd like uh, some spicy brown mustard with my donut. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Ben's Ben's fucking stark naked, sweating, I'm not stark naked, sweating, like and he's Obama. making euphemisms. <laughs> he's making euphemisms for mustard in my uh, donut hole. Uh, uh I'm gonna smack you with this leather belt, Billy. <laughs> Is Trap Pen going to eat those Lady Doritos? I will. Better, Bill. Dude, will they, they, they be Billy selling ben? them? Like, yeah, we gotta, gotta find out it. if they're coming out yet. McDonald's was supposed to re-up their Szechuan sauce. When was that gonna happen? Yeah. Um, they they probably stopped that the moment the fucking outbreak happened with every single fucking McDonald's where the, all the fucking shitlords showed up to. Yeah, fuck that. That, that is yeah. Rick and Morty fans, <sighs> man. Terrible. I just think like, you don't okay. have a high enough IQ to understand oh, Rick and Morty, Benjamin. Again. Yeah. <laughs> that okay. meme. Rick and Morty, <laughs> let's put it this way. Rick and Morty is a good show. Rick and Morty fans are not good. <laughs> it's that's just how like I feel insane about, clown posse. That's how I feel about anime. Like, I've enjoyed <laughs> some anime, but their fans yeah. just ruin it for me. Like, the worst people the I talk like, to. It's, it's, sorry, it's the same with, like, wrestling fans, too. Like, if you notice, yeah, there's, like, certain types of wrestling fans. It's certain any types. Fan, really. except, except, like, we're the wrestling fans that people complain about. But, but like, the, the weeaboo shit, like... The worst people I have to talk to online on a regular basis are weeaboos. Like, they're just yeah. fucking terrible. I'm writing a horror f film called Anime if, Avatar. If, if someone with an anime avatar or, or a, a, a furry avatar <laughs> tries to interact with me on the internet at all, Get out. I try to avoid it so bad. <laughs> ben, you're, you're prejudiced. And it's because they don't... They don't understand like they, the majority of their social interaction is on the internet they, they don't have common courtesy right <laughs> it's it's bad and then they have that fucking anonymity too so they just hide behind that shit fuck that yeah. <laughs> not all not all guys not all not all not furries not all, man. not all furries are that way Ben of course <laughs> Mr. Tompkins no, is true. a good furry it's true and, and and I've known I've been friends with some furries oh he yeah only furries wears are cool. his suit on Tuesdays but the ones the ones I meet randomly on the internet that you know God I just have to I just avoid them I avoid them like the plague Matt Dembski with the hundred dollar oh baller. shit. Damn. Whoa, here she goes. Hundred, I think you're 100 away if I'm correct now at this point. <laughs> Unless it's not updated. It, it doesn't update for Super Chat for some reason. I'm going to have to get the tip jar thing because it does both of those. Oh, you got to do... I was going to say when you so, do like the Twitch stuff as well, you got to get the fucking bit, the bit jar. Like the bit <laughs> plinko machine. <laughs> Go get the rat. We want to see the rat. Wow, they want the fucking the rat. rat. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set right, up a camera here. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. Dude, be careful. <laughs> it could be diseased or something. Ben's gonna get the booty cam up so I can yeah. get spanked? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, let's see. Um, bow, bow. What about Dragon gonna Ball switch, Z? We're gonna switch to this uh, blank camera for a second. And then... Uh, this thing's uh, going in the garbage like ASAP, but I got it. It's you, like the fucking... Uh, like the, the, the little trap. That must have been a small rat. 
Yeah, it's I eat don't the rat. Eat yeah, don't the touch rat. the fucking rat. Oh, you know. don't. I'm gonna go not a, this not a good on. idea. Oh, this is Let's going see, the is it now. this one? No, that's the, the wall. We want the kitchen cam. Is oh, it? Okay. Is it this one? If you hear rustling, it's because I'm just fucking tying up this bag. All right. Oh, hey, kitchen cam. Yeah, let me. Uh... Oh man. This is gonna be the most weird homoerotic shit on the internet. Uh, well, we'll make it worse. You gotta bad. get fucking good by horses Serpenny playing in the background when he X pops with up. The 100. Why not? Thank you, Serpenny X, for your crazy. Oh man. Go get that ass, B. An ass situation, B. So. I'm not gonna have my butt cheeks out. Okay. I'm just gonna have <laughs> your, your, your underwear. Oh on. shit! I see you, Billy. <laughs> what? Uh. What? Okay. Oh shit! Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Oh my god, no. Right. Oh my god. Guys, oh, I lashes. have a front row ah, seat to this shit. shit. How many lashes? Two. Two. Gotta be three. Three. All right. Oh All my! Right. Oh no! Here, uh, move over. Uh, move over towards the hallway a little bit more. All right. So okay. I'd like to make note: this episode here, here I can't go. fucking watch it work. You guys ready? Ready? Three. All right. Here's the first one. Ooh, ah, oh, that's oh, that one. Yeah, here we go. Ah. There's one. All right. You guys ready for the next one? Yeah. Here we go. Here. There's two. All right. All right. One more. One more. One more. There we go. Oh my okay. god. It was dangerously close to my balls. <laughs> oh. I had to bite this down. Why were you biting down on the trunk dick? <laughs> oh. oh. What has this show become, guys? Oh god. So like what I said, what has I this can't... show become? Like I said before, I can't watch this at work now. <laughs> people people are saying, what the fuck did I walk into? <laughs> I, you know, I've been here this entire time. This is what it led up to. Fuck. Oh, shit. Billy, you're going to have welts. <laughs> like my ass feels like you just made little someone pieces said, of bacon in it. Someone said, I can't believe I just jerked off to that. <laughs> I think, uh, I was gonna say, I think Black Box is aroused by that, if anything. Fuck. <sighs> that, uh... You guys bonded on a whole new level. Hey, you, you think that's the first time that happened? I can see why girls are into that, though. Or anybody, I guess. <laughs> like, I'm not into that. Oh, okay, but, sure. Well, I'm not. I feel like I'm now. as sweaty as you are now. That was both disgusting and slightly arousing. Thank you. Yeah, you hit like my butt chunks and I was worried it was going to hit my balls. Like if you would have went down a little further on one of those, it would have it would have hit my testes. Like, I was showing like marginal ass crack too. Oh really? Yeah. Damn. Billy got hard. The awkward <laughs> aftermath. I you know. Half chub. I know. I'm just looking at Ben now like are we gonna fuck? <laughs> no. Like what, uh, what we're gonna like do? After, what we're gonna, gonna say, do? Like, oh, sorry. Go. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say I feel like after this we're gonna like it's gonna be like a scene in just a diner. You two just awkwardly sitting at the table, just fucking. You want to discuss this? No. <laughs> I think it's uh, gonna be like Fraser Crane singing to us salad and scrambled eggs in the end of the background. Like kind of a classy diner well, joint. I don't know what to do with those salads. Ben is a lot fatter than I thought he was. Thank you. But I am a lot fatter than even I am. I, hey, oh. you know what? I am fat. I transcend obesity. Dad bod Ben, yeah. Wow, Billy, where'd you get your boxers? Why were there I shit do this stains? Weird in thing them? with my stomach where I can like make it look like I'm pregnant. <laughs> okay. Oh okay, god. Ready? ready? All right. Here's my stomach normal. <laughs> oh my! 
That's a dad <laughs> Damn. bod. Yeah. Billy, can I hot dog your bum bum? No. I don't know why. I just imagine that when you did that, just I imagine like an inflating noise, just like. Yep. I don't want any hot dog. That's crazy. That's nuts. Whoop. A slide whistle when Ben sticks his gut out. You, I wonder. I wonder who can stick their gut out further, like me or you? Because mine's already out. Hella I know far. that's that, that's <laughs> right. Once. My, no, because mine's already out hella far. I'm talking about further than its natural pace. Because Ben had like his natural, and then it went out like four inches. Yeah. Mine, I don't know if I can get an inch further. Mine's just that fat. You know, mine's already out as far as it's gonna get. I don't know. I don't know if I could do that. Should I try? <laughs> well, th- well I, I would say save it for Twitch, but I actually have to, we have to put clothes on for Twitch and shit, too. Yes. I'm gonna try. Are you going to do this? Otherwise, otherwise you're going to be a booby streamer, hold on. Ben. You don't want that. Let's see if I can do Prager Belly or not. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I wonder if I can put you on full screen. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's, I can't do it. No. Yeah, he can't go far. Yeah, dude, I can make mine just go like... That's just that's just twerking now. Yeah, I can't Like do front it, twerking. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end this stream and in about 10 to 15 minutes because I got to get dressed and I got to... <laughs> ben and I have to gotta, wash yeah. the fucking cum out of our boxers now. <laughs> uh, then, yes, we'll come back. Uh, we'll on, be on Twitch. Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Drunken Peasants. Go there, farm some bits for us for the next uh, 15 minutes and then give them all to us. Marry and reproduce. Yes, yes, I'm chubby. I'm fat. Like, what did you think? You know, like, did you think Ben is just skinny boy? Am I an Adonis or something? Like, (laughs) there was the 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 intro video where you had like the fucking chiseled bod. Yes, they thought that was your real bod. Yeah, was it your real bod at one point? I was going to say the, the preconceived notion I've had is, of course, from uh, Onision. Apparently, Ben, you're pretty manly, of course. I am. That was the first thing he said to me. Rock like out with the, the flaps out. Wow, this just keeps... You know what, guys? You guys can still send us Streamlabs over on Twitch. We're going to go over there for a little while. Go get it warmed up for us. We literally have to get dressed or else Twitch will ban us. Yeah, and, and I want to <laughs> smoke a cigarette. And I need to have someone massage the welts in my I was butt showing cheeks. marginal ass crack, too, earlier. I noticed that when I, like, watched it back. I was like, oh, shit, marginal ass crack. Is that the fat guy thing, though, where well, your ass crack goes up higher than you? Well, the thing is, is, like, my, my like, gut, my love handles overshadow the any ass I actually have. So then, like, my underwear, like, <laughs> from my lower back is just kind of, like, stretched Do you out. have Hank Hill booty? Yeah, I think so. Well, I don't know. I'll, what I, the I, hell? What the hell? <laughs> Damn it, Bobby! Bobby <laughs> got a crazy flat ass. I got a raisin <laughs> booty, Bobby. <laughs> All right. There's a All right. Oh, God damn it. All right, we're getting the fuck out of here. Go check out the Patreon. I hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks to everyone for your generous contributions. Good night. Bye bye. <laughs> Fucking Christ.